else I should put in here. All right. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to put on... I forgot I turned off all of the backing tracks. I'm going to fix that real quick. Just do some generic stuff. Um. All right. So, where we left off last time... Left... Ugh. Left off last time, you guys can see from the multiple tardigrade tokens and copious amounts of Ted soldiers and a dead Alin Rysora. You guys fought your way into this Callistocrat's mansion, fucking her own personal asteroid and immortality sanctuary because she was going to try to upload herself to a computer. Um, and despite all the challenges, you secured your ship. You're aboard the Tuna. Uh, you started to hop to your stations, especially, I think, Shaw. You, your token's not there, but you said you, like, basically yeah. ended sprint for the... Uh, I had runner. a word for her. I had a parting word for her, but then, yeah, straight to the bridge. All three of you look rough as shit to me. Oh, yeah. Like in Captain Sniper uh, over here, I will not breaking a sweat. I will say, those uh, the, the polymorph potions definitely saved our ass. Oh, 100%. Uh, I will say that, I yeah. will say, also, it was just, like... You guys rolled so bad at like every opportunity against her like most of the other fights went pretty well but as soon as we got into battle against her like our luck sh just like went i will say out yeah, you guys were knocking the rest of like you know like, getting that 20s to get through obstacles you know knocking the rest of the asteroid out of the park and then i guess in a pretty thematic way we're just stonewalled by the boss yeah um because like you you would yeah, it was just like because some of it, the knocking off the Terminator was just I think the funniest one. <laughs> By oh yeah, that was that was fun. that was phenomenal. Um, <laughs> uh, you guys tell that. Um, so, does Shaw have a seat? So oh, yeah, what happened to the bridge? It's basically been. I assume to you guys it looks horrendous and annoying. It's been like redone in like Callistocrat style. So it's a lot of like white with gold accents and it's way too over the top. However, um, there is something there that is currently still making sure everything is secured property properly. Uh, she brought on an elite deckhand drone. Uh, which is your guys to take. Awesome. Um, basically, did the... I don't remember exactly what it does, but you can give it like subroutines to help and stuff like that. Is the VI we installed still intact? The VI is not still intact. Ugh. It looks like she stripped that. Oh, Jesus. Like, did she replace it with anything, or did, what, did she? Or are we like, just out the build anything? points? Um, just out the build points right now. Ugh. For what? Or our VI, we do not have the V. She stripped the VI out of the ship. Yeah, it was. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, of course she did. Yeah. Being such a whiny little asshole this last week. You know, that's the one thing I never like that always gets to me whenever like a sci-fi thing is like, oh, you can upload your brain to this server and then we can build a new body for you. Well, it's like. Well, I'm still dead at the end of the day. You've just made a copy of me. Well, that's like the fucking... I didn't know this is like for years, like the dark shit with Star Trek's transporters. It basically just kills you. and makes a new body for you at the end of the transporter. Mm-hmm. Yep. You, you want to know what's even darker? Same thing happens with Pokeballs. Gross. I hate that. I hear you meowing. Don't you fucking dare get on that. Hey. I, I would contend that the same thing happens with Pokeballs, with the exception of Porygon. Yeah, I'll, Which I'll, one is I'll Porygon? The digital one. That's the digital one. I can buy that yeah. logic. Um, Alright. As you are booting stuff up, though, uh, I put the, I'll put the link to the deckhand thing so you guys can see what it does specifically. Oh. Um, but... Uh, you All see right. that she has installed a small hollow emitter in the captain's chair. So as you get ready in the pilot's chair, you see the hollow emitter uh, light up and activate. Um, all right. Tab it over to my other notes. Okay. 
you see uh, within this like bluish tinged hologram so the image of Lord Sinjin. Um, the holographic emitter basically makes it look like he's relaxing at the helm of your ship, and his smooth elven features are wrinkled into this just like condescending sneer. I hope you remember me, because I certainly remember you, and I'm leaving this message in case Rizora steps in it again. You might give those corporate pencil pushers the runaround, but it won't matter. I've got what I need. My engineers had the tuna long enough to copy the null space technology your cargo hold. And I've installed it in my own ship, after making a few modifications. Soon I'll have a whole fleet, and my smuggling empire will make the company look like a startup. Of course, so he kind of like straightens the sleeves of his suit. That still leaves some loose ends, but which of course I mean you. But I'm done trying to wrestle you all to the ground myself. Instead, I've taken out an insurance policy, and it was expensive. I don't know if you've seen it, but six figures on each of you. 175,000 credits for each of your heads. By the time you see this message, every bounty hunter from Absalom Station to the Vast is going to be strapping on their guns and dreaming of your beautiful faces. Sleep tight. And the pre-recorded message winks out. Was that guy? Oh, Sinjin. He was the person who originally. Uh, that. <laughs> yeah, that was near the beginning. So he was the yeah, person who originally. Com he was the person who commissioned us to steal this ship for him. Then instead of paying us, he betrayed us and tried to have us killed. Correct. So, okay. in some ways, yep. I kind of have a b even bigger beef with him than the Lean Rysora, just because he actually we actually did his job to the letter, and then he tried to pit not. And then he welched on it yeah he looks like he got his position in the golden league because it was his dad's company oh because of nepotism probably yeah i mean yeah, this is like yeah, a, yeah, a, a mafia-esque organization like family ties are pretty huge in the golden league he he, he just has the, that face you know yeah oh yeah no i mean i he definitely does Just my camera for a second. All right. Um, I assume you guys waste no time and punch out of this fucking system as quickly as possible. Unlike the rust mm -hmm. bug, you have a freaking drift capable engine and mm -hmm. presumably use it as soon as possible. Yeah, we bamf the hell out of here. And Aline Rysora, having, you know, you guys fucked with her computer system. She won't get to live in her immortality server as you fly the tuna away. As you guys do, do you have a specific destination? I imagine at least somewhere within the Pact Worlds to be able to connect to uh, you know, some Infosphere stuff. See the general layout of things. Kind of think of maybe go someplace we haven't gone to before. <laughs> Just think yeah, some place we can ask for a yeah, lay low for a bit. Yeah, yeah. I think we bamf out to somewhere else in the diaspora. Um, Hell yeah! I think again, just somewhere where we can, ideally close to like, like somewhere at the edge of a settlement, where we might be able to take a sniff at the info sphere, but ideally not get picked up. Um, so you could probably ha hang around where you had originally met those V-Spec guys a while ago, and get within the diaspora mm -hmm. towards uh, Verses. All right, yeah, that no. sounds good. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna, I think we chill there, get our bearings, maybe, you know, send a couple of quiet messages to the folks who we, uh, like we to, all- uh, to Tarika and show, let them know that we're- Well, Tarika's with us. All right. Tarika oh, did. Oh, that's right, yeah, she's like, here. But yeah, I would- She's I would probably just, like, like literally message. staring at the hollow screen of like the entertainment center, just entertainment center just blank eyed <laughs> not having this shit okay so being like a bounty hunter myself do I would I have any idea of like this bounty is it like is it like a official bounty or is this like an underworld bounty this is certainly more of an underworld bounty like a uh, a lot of the bounties that you would do on the up and up would be stuff that like the stewards or like 
different planetary peacekeeping forces would put up as a bounty. This is like the golden league doing this. Despite right. that, though, you would so, know that like it's been probably years since you've seen a bounty this high. Right. So like we could go to like the, if in theory we could go to Absalom Station and the the feds wouldn't harass us, but we would definitely be attacked by bounty hunters yeah the like in down. theory yes like the feds wouldn't do anything but you'd be risking going to a very populous place with a lot of eyes on you mm -hmm. yeah so I, I don't know what check this would be but would I be able to figure out you're trying to like, like a vibe as like far as some people that might come yeah like bounty hunters like would they try to team up I, I imagine they wouldn't want to lone wolf it. And would they wait for us to set down somewhere, or would they try to intercept us? Uh, I'd say give me, like, a profession bounty hunter or, like, a society check. Or that, you know, gives you your bonus on society stuff. You'll certainly be getting your bonus. Society? Not society, overall? sorry. Uh, culture is what I meant to say. I was playing 2E the other day. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a culture check okay and um, the dc should be lower because of your background Damn. okay um <laughs> i would say uh the first thing that comes to mind assassin wise in terms of like you're specifically thinking of like ones that might team up on you uh, you think that a bounty this guy, th this huge, would attract Jun assassins. X-U-N. Um, Jun assassins are... They're basically, like, Golden League employed assassins. Um, they are, like, a cod cadre of like tattooed and extremely augmented individuals uh they don't necessarily do like a hundred percent just work for the golden league although they are because the golden league helps support them like bound to do any bounty the golden league tells them to which you would assume would be this one and you would know that they do like to hunt in packs like usually at least three or four um June assassins really could be a variety of things. You know, they're very big on stealth. But apart from that, they're all, like, augmented in different ways. They have, like, cybernetic upgrades, different weapon styles. The main thing to become a June is just be deadly as fuck. Right. If we killed them, would we be able to take any of their cybernetics, or is that... Uh, it depends on how much time you would have after killing them if that makes sense. Like, cy cybernetics do take a certain amount of time to, like, remove and install. Right. But if we took the bodies with us, we could potentially... Uh, yeah, you could, I think unless you did something to, like, actively you know, damn, like, if it was, like, an eye thing and you stabbed them in the eye, they should remain functional. I do think, I do think we should get somewhere safe. I'm just wondering... As far as the wealth that we had on the tuna, is any of that here, or is it all been... No, you don't see anything like that. Yeah, so all of our spare weapons and stuff are gone. Yeah. So you, like, we, to we, to we be need... fair, we didn't keep much on board. We sold, we'd sold, sold a lot of it anyway, but... We need to come up with a... I think we're safest on the tuna. We need to come up with a plan to find Sinjin as quick as can and kill him so that... Odds are the money that... Uh, also, the money that he's using to use for the bounty is m probably a lot of the money that we had on the tuna. Hmm. If nothing else, we just take whatever money he has. If we kill him, does that not make them, like, want to kill us more? I mean, to be well, you fair... If you killed Sinjin specifically? Yeah. Hard to say. Well, if he can't, if he, if he can't uh, like, pay the bounty, there's no point in killing us. Um... That's true, but... I would say, uh, also on that check, by the way, with because you lowered it by five from your background, there is 
one assassin that jumps to your mind in particular, um, and that would be Medzi Jameson. Uh, I'll copy her name in here. Hold on. There's only room for one bounty hunter with the name James. And you would know <laughs> that, uh, I mean, it, Edgecore is, you know, Jameson is the J in Edgecore. Um, ah. This is like the only daughter mm -hmm. of the founder, Tarn Jameson. Um, she has been a bounty hunter for a long time. It's generally believed that she resents the fact that like her father sold Jameson Enterprises to Evgenia in this murder. And since then, she has done like military contracts. Um, she has like worked on perfecting the idea of like killer androids. And you know that she is a exceptionally deadly android in and of herself. Um, and you would actually, I think she is famous enough, you would have an image of her. Uh, give me one sec. I don't think I had her handout ready, but I will make it very quickly. Uh, Jameson, Jameson. I have way too many images uploaded on, a, on this Roll20 account, not gonna lie. There we go. Uh, this is Medzi Jameson. But she's an android? She is an android, for sure. And so she's also a furry. Um, you what you got against furries, man? She might have originally man? been like, some sort of cat folk. Like, android isn't necessarily always... Could also be cyborg. Yeah, like, could be a cyborg. Oh. Or, you know, androids are a very catch-all term for, like, you know, mechanical entities a lot of the time. Uh, but that's her. I mean, I think you would... I think James would know that, like, her reputation is pretty fucking earned. She's... Very, very good. Um, and you would know that, like, yeah, she is probably at, at least, if not more, competent than you with a rifle. But her her real danger is if she closes uh, to close quarters combat. Hmm. Um, you know, like, pretty famously, her claws... She has, like, modified to be, the like, pure adamantine. Okay. So, does she strike me as more of the lone wolf type? You think wouldn't less like... like the June, she would lone wolf it because she's just that, like, confident in herself. Well, luckily, she like, unfortunately for us, she's a very good operative, excellent sharpshooter. Luckily, she's an idiot. What for going Which is our CEO. only saving grace. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, her her fucking uh, confidence could very well be Medzi's downfall. If, if your goal is to kill one person with a sniper rifle, I think you're good. If you try to go against like a group of people, I think you're fucked. Could be. Guess we'll have to find out. Um. All right. Uh, well, that, I'd say that's pretty much all the information you get from that. Uh, from that check. What other questions stuff for you guys, like, or messages you guys are sending in the info sphere? Uh, I guess, you know, it's not wanting to attract too much attention. I just shoot a quick uh, text off to a show. It just said, uh, got the, sh it's like, uh, got the ship back. We're all okay. And th that'd be it. Okay, I think you would at least get a message back. I think pretty quickly, honestly, because you're in, like, Pact World Infosphere shit now. That's, like, the fastest information section. I think she would message, like, glad you're okay. I'll keep this brief so, you know, listeners. Are you out of the woods? She kind of, like, leaves with that. It's like... All right, so I um, start thinking it over, trying to think here. So it's like sort of like 
trying to think over like what do I want to say like you know like what am I like you know how much do I want to tell her you know in case you know someone starts coming after her just mm -hmm. say like mm, still have so it's like so I'll type out uh, still have some followers and then send that out hoping that she'll get what I mean by that okay I think uh, just like, keep me updated uh, stay safe heart and tell me when contact me when you can all right and I'll, and I'll say I'll text her back say will do but make sure you keep your eyes open for uh, for Shotzi um she <laughs> does probably sounds like a gif of someone like hiding behind uh like a shot up bar and she's just like yeah, I'll, I'll 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 keep a lookout. All right, and I just uh, leave it that. And she, you know, Shay, with the with that bounty, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Shotzi might have a go at us, considering that. Uh, I don't know. It's like I wouldn't be surprised if she's on thin ice with the with the board all, already after everything that happened. Chagrinus is. Eshovio probably has a thing or two to say as well. I would say on those notes, if the pair of you guys want to give me a culture check, uh, All right. or, or a diplomacy check to gather information as well, trying to like see like, have you heard anything about Shotzi's movements? Have you heard anything about Fireheart's movements? All right, time to see if those ranks have put in diplomacy will do anything for me here. Let's, let's go. Uh, one. Okay. All right. That's not bad. Sixteen. That's pretty good. Uh, hang on. I gotta, uh, gotta get my character. I'm slow. Um, uh, culture or diplomacy, you said? Yeah, yeah either or. Uh, nah. Um. Yeah, you, you like kind of troll, or troll, I guess is the better way to say it, uh, a bunch of like different news sources looking for like, you know, is there anything the best scary about Fireheart right now? Have there been is it, like demonstrations or military actions? You don't find anything. Scorpio on a 16, I think you maybe find like one or two news articles covering uh, like different businesses in the packed worlds. And you see something about Shotzi being like a rising star. Um, and despite it doesn't sound like Shotzi controls the board and controls everything, but. It sounds like that might not be far off of a reality. All right. Well, and I'll I'll show the articles to the rest of the party. Be like, well, I guess uh, leaving a few dead bodies in a Edge Corp uh, server room doesn't do much for uh, might not do much for promotions, but as uh, she seems to be staying right where she is at the moment. I think on a sixteen, you would at least have like the assumption that, like. Not only do they not, like, has that not detracted from her, you don't see anything about that. You think that she might have had to pay pretty heftily to suppress that information. Uh, as I tell you, yeah, she must have spent a pretty penny on a, uh, and it'll do the officer who say, clean up crew. Hmm. Sorry, my cat's being a psycho. He's just, like, trying to hold my whole leg. Stop. I will lock you out of this room, I swear to God. Alright. Um. Okay, so you get that, you get that. Um. I think you would also get a, a very brief message from the crew of the Wintermorn. That's just like, heard about the bounty out doing some stuff in near space keep your heads down so it sounds like at the very least you know your friends in the wintermore aren't looking to collect this i don't buy it <laughs> <laughs> you don't buy anything though you are suspicious that's true 
Though you're not but entirely like wrong for having... Dizzy would the... be against giving us, like, words of stay, keep your head down, you know? A, a 700,000 credit bounty changes a lot of yeah. minds. No, no, no. 175,000 each. Well, that's my point. 700,000 total. Yeah. Um, additionally, as you guys connect to the infosphere, uh, you see that there's been stuff about Edgecore disavowing Elin Rysora, calling her a disgruntled employee and a radical, nothing to do with Edgecore policy and interstellar law. Um, so the company is claiming they have not violated anything. Despite all this pre humble press tour going on that they're trying to start here, Edge Corp stocks seem like they're still climbing lately. Um, you guys also. Uh, I have to leak to get them to take a stock dip. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see that, um, you know, that like secure communicator that you have, Refine? Yeah, the one, the best one that I stole from Fireheart. Yes, correct. Um, you would be able to use that. So you see that, like, uh, it's hard to find, but they have clearly laid clues for your crew to find this. You get the sense that you could use that uh, secure line to contact Edgecore. It seems like they are trying to put out feelers to contact you guys. Oh, I don't like that one bit. I guess we see what they have to say, but that... that... Yeah, I think seeing uh, what they we have just... to say makes sense, and then we immediately move. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the... So... I don't like that, because we just knocked off an executive vice president. Wait, wait. wait. And... So wait. King, sorry, I don't think you're happy about what we did with Aberyn. Yeah, can you guys hear me all right? Just yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what um, were you? What were you trying to say? Um, I, I was gonna say like, sorry, they're trying to contact contact us, Edgecore. Yeah, they're trying to like put out feelers. I would say specifically, it seems like Edgecore's arbitration team is trying to get in touch with you guys. Uh, Honestly, I know you're at, lawyers. At this point, it, I think it'd be worth it to hear what they say. Yeah. We don't have to agree to anything. We just. Yeah, we we hear them out. And then we move. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, are we getting called by Edgecore HR? Um, worse. They're a lawyer team. <laughs> yeah, and Scorpio will not because he he's familiar with uh, Blackheart Security's arbitration team. It's like they're, <laughs> believe me, they're just as scary, if not scary, as an assault team. Believe oh, yeah. me. Just some cold, uh, cold motherfuckers. Yeah. Let's just focus on these guys for now. It sounds like. Maybe, maybe they want to like help us to suit their I, own interests. I, I just want to clarify, in case they try and get us to say anything bad, any and all leaks happened from Edgecore employees' computers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No one is to contradict that statement. Technically true, the best kind of true. I don't, we're not going to tell, tell them anything. I think we just hear we hear what they have to offer. All right. Okay. Um, do you try to get in contact with them through that secure link? Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll call them up. Um, as you guys kind of call, I, I think we'll probably like all be on the bridge for this as you call. You see on the vid screen, there's just like these four very clearly like high power lawyers in just like insanely nice tailored suits uh hiding behind cold smiles uh as you guys make the call uh, them. Thank, thank you for calling subspace pizza we got 20 percent off buffalo wings tonight what can we do for you you see one of them like smiles thinly it's just like this is all of you this is the crew of uh the you see, like, obviously he knows who you guys are, but just, like, very disparagingly, like, lifts up a piece of paper on his notepad, like the crew of the Tuna. 
Perhaps. Hmm. What would you like to know? Well, our arbitration team thought we would reach out to you in light of recent events. First, he kind of like straightens a lapel pin. I must affirm and stress Edgecore's commitment to keeping you on its burn list. In fact, we plan to press charges against you all that start with Grand Theft Starship and proceed from there. Another lawyer cuts in. She's like, unless, of course, you can agree to these terms. Uh, you see, like, a deal kind of flash up on the screen. We are offering your crew 60,000 credits. 80, uh, they list a bunch of parts, but mechanically it's 80 BP. And legal ownership of the Olathont, of the tuna, excuse us. However, in return, you all, all of you, I must stress this, would have to sign a non-disparagement clause. You can never speak a bad word about Edgecore in public as long as you live. And, indeed, if you die and come after that, beyond death as well. We understand if you need time to consider the deal, but it should be known that, well, if rumors of bounties are to be believed, you don't have a lot of that. Not a lot of time to spare at all. And What's... our offer won't remain on the table forever either. Uh, maybe let's unpack this. What exactly do you not want us to talk about specifically? Any and all of the events and, quite frankly, many crimes you have committed against either Edgecore employees, contractors, businesses, any of the above. And in addition to not discussing those with any outside parties, not disparaging the company of EJ Corporations in general. I, I want to clarify, allegedly committed uh you see the other woman that spoke up kind of like she raises an eyebrow and she's like yes allegedly all right i mean i'm fine with keeping shut about all of that it's the whole uh not making any disparaging remarks edge car isn't a perfect company let's say one year well, eventually down the road let's say i say edge corp is a shitty company and I hope their stocks go down. Then that would violate what? the terms of the contract. I would Actually, I would suggest maybe an amendment to the contract to more clearly define or, or to, what our limitations might be. Specify it to the events of recent. Also, I assume this is only in regards to things we say, not things we do. If you do anything that endangers <laughs> the company's image, that would be taken the same way as... You see, he kind of, like, uh, expands the document in front of you guys. It's just pages and pages of legal jargon. Uh, I would say if you want to try to make that point, uh, Wilco, you can try to make a diplomacy check. You've got the re-roll thing because of the little uh, trinket we have. That is true, yeah. You yeah. got that free re-roll uh, baked in. Before we... I, I do want to say maybe... do Because that's 60,000 credits each, right? No. The ADBP is more the thing. Honestly, being free and... so. I mean, well, the other moment. thing is that like there wouldn't be a burn notice on you from the company again. You'd be legal yeah. free traders. We'd be, yeah, we'd have legal ownership of the trip and be off, ship and be off the burn notice. I, I, honestly, I was kind of honestly, I was kind of hoping that they'd offer a, 
Uh, actually, I'll look. I'll look over at the screen. Please allow us a moment. Yeah. And I'll mute it. I'm not going to sever it, but I'll just turn on the mute real quick. I, I, I kind of would have preferred if they'd asked us to knock off Sinjin and deal with their competition in exchange. Yeah. Do they yeah. know that they have competition? Might be I an angle we could try. Well, maybe they probably do, but I don't think they want to be, uh, you know, on record, like, you know, saying that, you know, out loud. That's what I think. Uh, we can always poke them to see if they want us to, if, in lieu of just the straight NDA. Mm. It's you think honestly, like sweet like the idea of signing an NDA. I, I'm not, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it either. Yeah, because like we're not gonna like just do whatever they want or agree to like never fuck with them again. Ag agreed. I, I, I think agreeing to maybe just shut up about what has happened recently is. I'm fine with a gag thing. order. I'm fine with a gag order on that. But if they just allow us to muzzle what we say, then that's g slowly gives them legal. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that binds our future behavior, whatever happened in the past is in the past, but anything that binds our future behaviors is something the company can use to reel us in. I don't like that one bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I, maybe, I, I would say that's our main thing. Maybe try to limit the NDA to that. And maybe try to get, uh, get them to agree to pay us to take care of Sinjin. I think perhaps what I can, if, perhaps I, I can, oh go ahead. And I think get them... sorry. And I think least importantly, maybe get them to up. I think the BP is fair. Maybe like it's not a big like a the hell we want to die on, but maybe just get them to increase the credits to like sixty each or sixty thousand each, or increase it a little bit. I think. I think it, 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 it's worth it to at least try. Yeah, I think perhaps. Yeah. Uh, so I guess here's the other question. I like. I think my kind of idea is. I think I would like to suggest that we. I'm fine staying mum about the events of what happened with Aline Rasora and what happened everything on uh, Enta and all of those places and everything since. I don't want any binds on our future actions, even though I'm perfectly, frankly, I'd be happy to give them a wide berth for a while after this. But yeah. I think if no restrictions on our future actions in exchange for helping them deal with their Sinjin problem. Maybe also, another... throw, maybe we also throw the, uh, mention the fact that Eileen had uh, disposed of our VI that we had legally paid for. Uh, and no. we would like to be compensated. Yeah. Maybe work no, that because... into the whole pay us more thing. I'd actually probably we... I'd almost rather take that than the credits, but that's a, I can I'm happy open to discuss that. I think they I, would I, I argue that actually Aline Rice were disposed of their VI because they consider it their ship. Yeah, that's the problem. But I think I, I, we can try, but I think that one's a wash. We might have the credits. <laughs> like I think we've legally purchased that at some point. If if we can get them to just drop the NDA completely in exchange for us dealing with their, let's call it, intellectual property leak. Yeah. And here's the, now I do, I will say. I, I think, didn't he leave the, the projector on board? Mm -hmm. And then it, didn't it, outright just, did. did, didn't it just like outright say his plan is to like use yep. the null space technology to take over where edge core is to, like i believe he said to make them look small or something did you try to access the file afterwards i don't think we did and we haven't looked at her communicator either we haven't we've been kind of we were been moving quickly can we try that um i would say no check you can tell the file delete So there is no proof, but we do. Can I try and recover it? I was. Just, I knew you were gonna ask that. Um, I think yes, that's possible. It's gonna be an extremely difficult check. I, I will try for it. I'm. I'm not. I, I, I will I'll, say I'll it's, not, it's not impossible, but it's it's unlikely. Is how I will phrase this. Uh, um, I'll try to. I don't think I need to, but I'll try to help her. 
I'm 40 then. 40. I assume like 27 passes. Uh, 27 I does assist. Um, and that's going up to a 40. Uh, yeah, I'd say he can recover that on a 40. Cool. I, I think, so, let's just get it straight what, what we're going to try to do here, just so we're not, like, talking over each other or... Yeah, what's, what's, our... what exactly are you trying to convince them of here? Or, like, uh, okay, I so do not want but... to have to sign a document. You think yeah. that's going to be well, extremely unlikely that you'd get out of this without signing a document? We have to sign some form of paperwork. I think we can maybe try to do away with the NDA. I think number one, do away with NDA. Mm -hmm. I, my Discord's acting up. Am I, can you guys still hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're good. You. Yep. You're still okay, it's having a loading thing, so. Yeah, okay. The, no NDA. Uh, uh, so, number one, do away with NDA. Ownership or, of the ship uh, and uh, payment. They, they already have that in. I don't think we have to. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, so these do, are just do like the changes. So no NDA. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just I'm just listing off the things that we would want. Just let me get through the list yeah, yeah, before yeah. we. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. I'm I'm writing it down I, I, in chat too. We, so stream we we keep getting distracted. So number one, main priority: do away with NDA. Okay. Priority two: if we can't do away with NDA, at least limit it to past events. To past events number three do we want to try to argue for more credits or Worth reimbursement it. of the vi i think that, should, I think that I should be the lowest priority uh, uh, yeah but, like, I, I just, between the two if you tried it which would you uh maybe get paid for taking out sin sinjin sinjin yeah s-i-n-j-n and then I'll just put in parentheses here. Um, possible. Uh, oh. what, would, what would you call it? Like an upfront payment, or partial upfront? Mm, yeah, I, yeah, I would call it that. Is there anything else we'd want? Like, so, do it with NDA, or at least limit it. Get paid for taking out Sinjin maybe get reimbursed for the vi what else would we want here i think i don't want to push our luck i think we shouldn't push our luck more than yeah. that would be me yeah yeah i'll i'll just as like a lowest priority mm -hmm. if we can't if they if they don't agree to pay us for sinjin or, or, or do, do like do an upfront payment because we need like money i i would like money to like upgrade before we go after them yeah, I'm gonna need if, some... if we if we can't get it there, I would say maybe up up the payment. Okay, but I, I think the big one is no NDA. Yeah, yeah. And do we just come out right away with the whole Sinjin thing? Because I think we're like, why we come back and we're like, now that we've talked, we want you to take a look at this first, and maybe I, we can come to a different kind of I agreement. Think... Yeah, yeah, I think that makes. I think some it's sense. worth worth showing that we have something to negotiate with. Yeah, like we have a common threat, and it would be in their interest as well to help us out. I I do think I would like to cut it off before he gives the bounty announcement. I mean, they already know about it. Yeah. I know they know about it. I just I I don't want them to like get bogged down in listening to him rant about how you know much more dead. How fucked you guys are? Yeah. Yeah, I, I want them to focus on him saying that they're fucked and not that we're fucked. Mm. Yes. Gotcha. I mean, us being fucked Makes is sense. a thing, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're happy about us dying. They're not happy about competition. Yeah. That is true. Okay. Yeah, I think that works. Um, so you like take them off mute and you're trying to get 
priority is no NDA or NDA limited past events, then credits, then paid for taking out Sinjin. And possibly failing. And are you showing them the recording before this or after this? Before this. Before It'll help with the uh, yeah. negotiation. No, I think you're right. Just making sure. Um, okay. I would say with those demands you see like they kind of like you can see them pause their video uh it's just, like a rotating edge core logo on the screen now as they watch or like listen to your audio file um they come back on still like studiously blank faced uh you know, i would say whoever is leading this attempt give me a diplomacy check yeah that would be me you got your reroll. Yeah. Anybody can give him an assist? Anyone can assist. There's no lit and you can assist stack. So like you can all assist. Yeah. We'll all try to. And I don't all think right. there's a penalty. Let me see. Um... God damn it. I know there is in. Oh, a two and a three. Oh, Jesus. I, I, uh, I can't. We only got the one reroll, right? Yeah. I don't think you can chain it on the same check. So you rerolled a 21 into a 20. And then you're assisted three times. Because it's base 10. Um, so 6. So 26. 26. Um, I think with all of those, after some discussion, they're like, we are willing to offer, not for each of you, um, but a lump sum of 100,000 credits instead of 60. As for the NDA, it would remain as it is written in the contract. As for Mr. Sinjin, we've listened to your audio file, but we have no interest in any action against Sinjin at this time. Sounds motive. Oh, uh, yeah, give me a sense motive check. Whew! Like a 30. Um, yes, and I think you would kind of narrow it down to, like, two reasons in a system. One, they don't want to have you guys doing any job for them. Like, that's a connection they just don't want. Two... You think that, like, Edge Core is just so huge, and they are the ones that made this technology. They're probably way farther along towards mass production than Sinjin would be. So, like, you know, they always knew, like, this is a technology you can't keep under wraps forever. They'd lose a monopoly on it eventually. It'll happen sooner now because of all the events surrounding you guys. But they're still going to get their product to market first, and that's still going to be huge for their production empire so like yeah it would be good if Sinjin didn't have it but at the end of the day it's not gonna affect their bottom line or stock prices enough to matter to them like so what they lose hundreds of millions they're still gonna make billions this is a company that's just so truly huge they do not give a fuck is there anything else we could try to? If, 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 this is to crew. Like, is there anything else we could try to like convince them to not get rid of the NDA, but just alter it to just the past events, like a gag order on that? Is there anything we can think of that would? I got nothing. I mean, I have ideas on the DM. To... So. The windfall ship. Is that next? Like the ship itself. What happened to the windfall ship? Yeah. Um. I think we just abandoned you it. Pretty much just abandoned it. The windfall is not something that's easily like. You can't just sell a windfall ship. Everyone knows it belongs to the. Yeah, I know. Ship. I know you can't sell it. But the question is. Like what did happen? Would she abandoned they want it. it. 
I mean, if it's still there, Tarika and you guys abandoned it by some asteroids, like, Yeah, that's the question. Is it still ago. there? We don't really know. Um, it's been drifting in orbit in the diaspora for, what, weeks at this point? Oh, give me a... That's a good point. Give me a D6 uh, divided by two because you're on the ship again, but how many more days that just took. Let me check my day log here. So day and, uh, day and a half. Looks like I need a we'll just round it down brainstorm one. a list of things they might want from us. Yeah, that brings our total journey to 148 days. And if my notes are right, I think the last time... Yeah, it was like dozens of days ago that you guys had the windfall. Do we try to go for the angle of think about Ooh. Like, maybe think about the damage that's been caused so far? Wait. Do you really want to continue this? You know what we're capable of. Like a threat. I, I have an idea. You have an idea? I have an idea. So you can do it as intimidating. Yeah, wait, sorry. What's your idea before I think about this intimidation check? We have another problem that we need to deal with at some point. Which is Blackheart security, right? Correct. And mm -hmm. potentially Fireheart yeah. as well. Right. Yeah, shut, shut, shut. Uh, yeah, uh, Scorpio will nod at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Scorpio, you don't want Blackheart security. And you just see him, like, violently shaking his No, I do not. I can so clearly picture just, like, the vigorous best catch. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not me. What if we gave it to Edgecore? You see, he's the the gears are turning in his head, and he's just like, Shit, here, like, you're fine. You are a genius. Interesting take. I like it. Okay, I assume it's all like on mute, obviously. Um, yeah, of course. Okay, I mean, I think that's an interesting bargaining chip. So you have that that you have that bargaining chip in your hat. Um, and then Wilco, you were saying the angle of like, I, I already think... fucked up a bunch of stuff. So you, you got that in your back pocket too. Like, obviously we are a capable problem. I, I think we save the, the threat for last and try to use the bargaining chip first. I agree. Are you, know, you are interested in a trade? Lower the yeah, NDA? See, you yeah, see if they no want NDA, to control no NDA. Uh, I, yeah, I no think NDA. They, yeah. In exchange for controlling stake in Blackheart security. It might be a degrees of success thing where if we can't yeah. get rid of it, we can at least get it lowered. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Is that what you guys, like, pitch to them first? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And we do the All same right, thing. Yeah. You still have one more reroll in that thingamabob. I think at that, you probably see, like, the most emotional reaction you've seen out of them so far, where they actually, like... Like, you know, all four of them, like, you know, eyebrows go up. They, like, look at each other, you know, sidelong glances. Um, right. And I'll, and I'll show, mm -hmm. show them, like, the, uh, like, here, like, see, like, it's me. Scorpio, Sky, Blackheart, Blackheart Security. Ooh. Okay. Um, they consider, like, all right, we're, if you all stay on the line, we're going to discuss this. Shaw just pats him on the shoulder. You can see, like, the, like, the, you know, almost like the stream does when it fades out to something else. Like, they're, it fades into the Edgecore logo, but you can see, like, two of them are, like, reaching for their communication devices to make some calls here. Mm -hmm. I picture, like, the Edgecore logo pops up and there's just, like, the random mindless, like, elevator jazz playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, like, some really shitty, like, Muzak and, going And you on. just hear some, like, synthesized voice saying, like, take it to the edge. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> some... I think, is, is that their slang? Hold on. Where's that slang file? <laughs> oh my god. We had from book uh, one, we had a handout of like popular uh, oh, I forgot company, about company jargon. Uh, as soon as like the, the, the screensaver pops up, I'll just turn to Scorpio and say, you know this means that you can't call yourself Sky anymore. They're buying your last name as well, right? No, my, no, it's... I, I'm no, lying, Jay. by the way. <laughs> I'm lying, by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to deceive him. Oh, um, right. I guess it's not can I can Other. I roll a, a bluff check against my own ally? Sure. <laughs> you know go, go for it. Go sure, for it. That's funny. I'll, I'll, uh... Only a yeah, sense yeah, motive. Yeah. Sense motive. I'm pretty sure you've got it because I could only because <laughs> even... I have no bonus there. So even if I rolled in that twenty, I couldn't beat it. But it's just like 
take what 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 are you talking about? Like Blackheart's my last name. I mean, look, I've been I've been considering like getting it legally changed so it's Scorpio Sky. Like Sky would be my last name, but oh, that that was a joke. Oh, okay. A video panicking. That's like, fuck. What if they actually buy my name? I'll uh, certainly try. Okay, I think. Probably like 10 to 15 minutes go by as they are contacting, you know, boards, uh, CEOs, CFOs, everyone that needs to be contacted here. They'll come back to the virtual bargaining table, as it were. Um, and they would say, the lead lawyer again is like, all right, still no on anything related to Sinjin staying on that 100,000 credit value and the again list the materials like the ADBP the company is not willing to do no NDA and you know especially not having any sort of uh, we must have some sort of a non-disparagement clause as well but we are willing to limit at least the NDA portion of that to past events. As for the disparagement clause, nothing so vague as just one of you posting that you don't like the company. But if you did take active steps towards things like defamation or disparagement that is actively causing the company harm, that would still be part of the clause. So in a more be, casual would... sense, you may mention us and post what you will on your various socials. What would the disparagement entail, exactly? Um, he goes to like a lengthy like legal definition and like shows you the pages involved. Basically, the idea is just like not you know running any sort of smear campaign or like talking badly enough about the company that it's actually going to affect like business or their business partners or their bottom line or their stocks like you guys telling okay. other like if you went and told other bounty hunters at a tavern or bar it was like yeah man like this, these, these are the reasons edge core sucks they're not going to come after you if you I were like hey bounty hunters let's all agree to make edge core pay us more or like not work for edge core because they suck then that would be disparagement as you were like actively okay. causing the company harm so just just to clarify just as an aside yeah, yeah, yeah we can't lie about them publicly or for disparagement we can't like try to convince others to like fuck them over kind of thing i mean if they have proof that you did that then yeah that'll be that what if we just like stole some of their shit that's not that's not part saying. of disparagement, is it? I mean, it? at about... that point, like that's just crime. Like, yeah, it's not disparagement. Yeah. But that's just that's just theft. What? That's just that's what just about... stealing from the. I, I have found the loophole. Internal company There's no... documents. I, I have found uh -huh, the loophole. The contract is specifically for pay to theft. Yeah, Fools. I, 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 I found the loophole. Nothing in this contract mentions anything about not murdering them. Um, sorry, what were you, you going to say? What were you going to say, Ryan? Do I get the sense that this would include leaking company documents? Yeah, I think that's like not even an implication. You, yes. <laughs> that, that, you up. think they'd have like specifically put out like no leaking documents? I think considering that there done. has been a surplus of linked documents in places that your crew has, <laughs> happened, right. has happened to be in in the same time frame, they probably put, put that in the legal wording. Um, like, yeah, all the stuff I, at the tower did come from a company computer Damn. on, on like, a Why day where you guys were there. Yeah, no, no, no I know they know it to me. But, yes, Honestly, I, I, I think... Honestly, I don't think I've ever... Go ahead, go ahead. I've, I've personally ever defamed or disparaged them. I've just stolen shit and killed... <laughs> I've just, I, I, other, just killed honestly, their employees. Honestly, I think of the... Like all of us have bitched I'm the about only it. One who's actually done disparaging stuff. Like I think you're the only one who has publicly smeared them. I think you you have done the most damage of all of us. 
Oh yeah, honestly, for sure. Refine actively honestly, yeah. has her fingers just like crossed behind her back the whole time. I was like, ah yes, <laughs> the old finger cross loophole out of a legal contract. So Sean, Sean's gonna think about it for a second. Like, Your Honor, it didn't right, count I, when I signed the put my signature. You, I was crossing my fingers. Right. Now, while you're thinking about that, uh, Scorpio would tell the party that it's like, I do want to warn you. I'm. I know for a fact that once this goes through. Shotzi is going to be coming after us because this, she's not going to like this one bit. Because this, I'm sure they're going to. F I mean, she already has. I mean, I, I hate to say, I hate to sound cavalier about it, Scorpio, but at this point, she can get in line. Yeah, I, I feel like. And it's fine. I just, just, just want to make sure we're we're on the same page here. I mean, in all, in all fairness, she's going to try to murder you, not us. Yeah, but I, I, <laughs> no, I don't know. She, I don't. Brutal take. She doesn't strike. Brutal take. She doesn't. She doesn't strike me as the sort who cares too much about collateral damage. I she might in fact like... revel in it. Mm -hmm. I feel like they haven't actually given us much of anything in return for us being willing to give them black. They're taking us off the burn list, giving us a hundred thousand credits and eighty DP. It's they were going to do that anyway. And legal ownership of the tuna. Us... Yeah, again, they were going to do all this anyway. The only thing we're getting in addition for offering Blackheart is we're allowed to say we dislike them. Well, it's also and, and just as long as you're not going to legally be arrested for their... talking about anything related to them, basically. Yeah, yeah. It, was... it, it limits the NDA to past events, not future events. No, no, no. It still covers future things. No, no. No, well, no. It, it, dis it covers the dis like disparagement in the future. But in terms of like actual right. non-disclosure, you can only not talk about the shit that's happened. If you had well, other well, that's ones what I'm for, you could absolutely talk about them. We could talk but, about them as long as it didn't disparage Edgecore when we did it. Yes. Because if we talked about it and it did disparage Edgecore, we still wouldn't be able to talk about it. Yes. Shaw kind of thinks about it for a minute. I mean, <sighs> if we leak documents... <laughs> Uh, in the future, if we leak documents of theirs, that's not disparaging. Well, no, then yeah. it's just, then it's just, unfortunately, that's, if we're leaking confidential information, I, they can, I, I'm sure there's a crime for that. I don't know what it is. I, I don't think that's necessarily a crime. I just think it's something they wouldn't like. The, 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 my, my that, thought, that, here's my, my thought is, the NBA anyone would cover, though, still like, watching this, pre this stream probably loved the political shenanigans in the prequel movies of Star Wars. <laughs> The problem I have, <laughs> so much yeah. Legality. I mean, this is like, it's, I mean, to be fair, this is like whenever you're trying to make a deal with the devil. Everything, the, the devil yeah. is literally in yeah, the details. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you um, gotta the details. Out of the, curiosity, is the contract in Infernal? It is not, no. I was um, you were, you saw the, the, like, the contract, uh, that devil giving you a contract. That was Devastation Arc, right? Yeah. Oh, man, I have to go find that art. As a side note, James is learned in infernal oh, like go. it is not infernal this time it's like I, I i like i look to the contract i rewrite an infernal and I just give it back to them and see what they think here's my thought like, did you just I translate feel, this whole I thing in infernal? Why'd you do that? i feel as Would if we start act operating legally if we were no longer on their blacklist <sighs> say that again Would my we... thought start acting legally oh you mean like we would no you get, like you guys list. as the crew actually do that like yeah doing legitimate business Ooh. yeah Ooh, I, yeah but as part of, as part of like getting us off the burn list we can now go legally purchase things yeah that is huge you won't be like cut off go to from places. vendors anymore like, i feel so we legally cannot go back to absalom station right now we would be arrested you but you could go back it's just like no one would deal with you yeah yeah and so, and the whole nda thing is like the company doesn't matter to scorpio he doesn't give a shit about it. it it's worthless to him giving it to them at least oh well, yeah no it, 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 it opens us up for the for the purposes of if we want to like release information or talk about them in the future as long as we're not defaming them well and honestly we're trying to disparage them even if here's my thing even if we end up going up against Edge Corp in the future, getting them off our back, at least for now, is helpful. 
to get until we can deal with Sinjin. Yeah. We can at least deal with one problem at a time. Legally, all these other things, and Edge Corp can say whatever it wants. No company lasts forever. Um, this this was the devil that uh, tried to get them to sign a modern day contract in Starfinder and Infernal. Oh, nice. Would I, would I be able phenomenal. to sneak? Would I be able to sneak in a line of if at any point Edge Corp merges with another company to form a new entity, or like goes bankrupt and like rebrands itself that the contract is null and void of our obligations uh, would I, mean, I be able to sneak a little line in I, is there there has to be some kind of escape clause interesting yeah honestly i think they would just agree to that escape clause i don't think they would have any belief that edge core would ever need to dissolve or On honestly i think i'm okay with it the contract as it I, is right now. I think this is as good a deal as we're going to get. One more question. Okay, what's the? Question? If one of us violates it, does it null it for all of us, or are we each being given an individual contract? Um, the contract is like to you all as the crew of the tuna. But it's to us as a party. So you're you're like legally liable for each other in this case. And I, oh, can I try to convince them to do it individually? <laughs> Uh, you could try. Make a diplomacy check. Uh, we can always try. Let's try. Um, let's go back down, sorry. Um, you think that, uh, no, I don't think they would. Did I need a nat 20 for that? Uh, I was thinking like a DC 40. I don't know if that, is that a nat 20 for you? Oh, yeah, you, I didn't realize he had a 19. 19. Yeah. So you'd have to yeah. have rolled a 20 and then get someone to like assist. Assist, yeah. Which, to be fair, assist is only a 10. Can somebody assist? <laughs> I, I try. guess if two of you can assist, that would be able to yeah. Yeah. I don't have great diplomacy, though, so... Hang on one second. It's one. That's two. Okay. All right, that's a 41. Um, they, like, you know, put their heads together and discuss, like... Being liable for these things will be considered on a individual basis. I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Yeah, yeah I I think I'm willing to to do that. That way, when I inevitably out of character, obviously, when I inevitably <laughs> immediately <laughs> violate this agreement, <laughs> this truce is when, not gonna be forever. When refine like once Sinjin is dealt with, immediately starts posting internal edge core documents again that's not lock it soldier only it's gonna turn into like a white hat hacker dedicates her life to this bringing down edge corp <laughs> to be not honest even like white hat for the bright reasons just like just to just out of pettiness <laughs> yeah exactly i was like damn look at this look at this fucking robin hood hacking the biggest company in the packed worlds and refines just like at her own place like nah these people suck <laughs> To be to be fair though, with the updated NDA, you could release their documents now, the future ones. So it depends on how you phrase it, I guess. As long as you didn't, yeah, release them yeah. in a defamatory with the intent, way, with the intent to defame, or, or if you use because or, or if intent you have is a, part of the law. It's part of the or law. Well, there's you, also, I guess, if it would be you also. You also don't have to do it directly. If you acquire the documents, then pass them off to other interested parties. That's yeah. true as well. Oh, lie. Yeah. All right, I was going to see. I was trying to figure out the difference between libel, slander, and defamation, but slander and libel are both subcategories of defamation. Yeah. <laughs> and damn, my dad. My dad would love this episode. He's a lawyer. <laughs> technically, let's get, let's get Papa Hyde on the line. Refine still has not personally leaked any documents. It just is very clear that it's her who's done it. <laughs> That's fair. All right. I mean, so are we as a party true. good good with this? I'm f I, For the time being, until we have Sinjin out of our hair, I'm fine making a deal with the company, even if that doesn't last. Yeah, I think this is the best we're going to get. Yeah. And I think getting being cleared to legal markets again, having free ownership of the tuna... 
I think it's worth it. If we can get Sinjin off our back, then I think Shaw kind of brother. Huh. Being nice not having somebody trying to kill us for a change. Yeah. Uh, Before... Well maybe maybe for you guys. Shaw. Sure. Shaw sure, Chuckles, fair point. Well, and then I forgot Esh oh that's right, Esho Vio too. Uh, miserable Ooh, son well... of a bitch. When we get the final contract, can we just all take a moment to peer over it just to see we'll if they come over it one more time? Yeah. Um, to do what again? To if they just make sure they haven't the like, snuck anything in. Yeah, like no like weird oh, pauses yeah, yeah. or um, something. Yeah, just make sure everything's above board. Yeah, I would say perception as you just kind of like do a quick once over of the revised document. I, Jesus, I'm, Jesus! I, I, I'm using a fight. Two natural ones. Ooh, baby! <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> lord! I have to get best is cheap real quick. See, now I feel That's legally obligated fun. as a DM to like to put in a shitty. Well, oh, that's a twenty-five and a twenty-seven. There, okay. so I, I think, think on a twenty-five going up to a twenty-seven. I think, or uh, both of those is above. A, okay, above a thirty. I think you would know that. It is what you have agreed to. Alright. Okay. <laughs> what, what? I'm glad it was for that, not for like a Jesus. poison save against some god awful, like against like the Gene Reaver or some mm -hmm. shit. Good love a good Gene Reaver. <sighs> Alright. I guess we agree to it. Alright. Are, uh, are we just double checking one more time? Are we all good with it? This is big. Yeah. Um, and that so then you're gonna get 80 VP, 100,000 credits to divide amongst yourselves. The Oliphant, the modified non defamatory clause, and the modified, you know, uh, NDA. I think the real question now is what do we spend the credits on? It's time to gear up. We're going big game hunting. Yeah, I'm just wondering what would everyone get if they... What's everyone eyeing up? I haven't decided yet because I have... Between my credits and my uh, UPBs... I think... I have... Quite I have... a bit. I have, yeah, I only had 3,000 credits to my name, so I have a look at a couple different things. The big one was going to be upgrading my melee weapon to a more powerful, uh, something more powerful. Um, the other one is I want to look into a couple of those biotech upgrades, like those biosynthetic nanites and the, biotech um, stuff. and the, probably the regenerative blood as well, just because Shaw isn't. He's difficult enough to kill, but he's come still very close a few times. <laughs> yeah. I'm eyeing up some, like, really high-end, like, sniper rifles. I'm going to try to find one that's not, like, going to break the bank for yeah. our budget. Yeah, the problem, yeah, that's the big thing for me. Is I was looking, I think it's going to be, like, in terms of differences. Because, like, I can contribute my own Storm Doshko to it. Um, especially, like, if we're upgrading it with the UPBs, which, as a... As a story beat, I would like, you know, kind of using the workshop to make this, my Storm Doshko, my weapon, more powerful. Um, but the, like, the smarter, more meta choice would be to get a Plasma Sword and fix that as the bayonet onto my Plasma Cannon. Yeah. Well, what, well, how much would that cost you? Let me look. Fixing What's a up? Plasma Bayonet to Plasma Cannon. It's I working just, for I me. I was just muttering a fixed bayonets because I was thinking of the... Guard. Warhammer guard stratagem. <laughs> Let's see here. New yeah, because there, there's out. some stuff. There, there's stuff I'm looking at that's like, there's a rifle that does 60 10, but it's would be almost all of that. Yeah. And I only have 23 credits to my name right now, so. Good God. <laughs> we were. So, I, so we have to spend them for each, meds. Are, are we divvying up the 100,000? I'm thinking we try to figure out what would be the most effective use of that 100,000. Yeah. Do we all want to get, like, some like, middling stuff, or do 
one or two yeah. of us want to get like really good shit. Like Scorpio, what do you have for weapon? Have you upgraded recently? Let's see here. I got. Uh, What's the last melee weapon? Main, you got? I said ma mainly what I'm using is uh, the micro suede long sword, and uh, what is the se uh, semi-auto uh, elite semi-auto pistol. Uh, let's see here. Let's how 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 much damage does your melee do? Is there a good upgrade for it? Let me see here. Either the melee weapons I'm looking at would be hugely expensive, like thirty-five to fifty thousand. I, I, I don't want to. Uh, I'll, I'll focus here's on the, the thing. Biotech I've upgrade. been like saving up quite a bit of money, so I I could afford it. So I I was also looking at maybe upgrading to like the uh, platinum like travel suit. More ACs right. never a bad thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like For I said, I can I can and I can well afford and I can well afford that on my own without needing any of any of that money. Oh, okay. Uh, I, yeah, like refined. What would you get? Would you go for just a better sniper well, rifle, or would you depends get? Depends on how much money I have available. Right. I mean, uh, if if I get a better sniper rifle, I could just give you my. I do we have? Do we both have phantoms? I think we do. Uh, I think you yeah. both have yeah the same tier now, right? Dang it! I thought yours was one better, Wilco. Either way. Mm -hmm. I think it was, and it's I think my... you guys picked up another one in the last section. I think that's right. All right. Give me a minute here. I think the Spectre, the uh, the upgrade of what we have right now, is only 29,000. But there might be better... How much of an upgrade well, I mean, is it? How many like hit dice does it change? Three d six to five d six. Okay, well at least it's a two dice jump. Yeah, both of the ones I'm looking at would go from two d eight to four d eight. How much would that run you? Fifty thousand. The the upgrading the storm Doshko would be cheapest. That would cost me roughly in the neighborhood of thirty thousand. Getting the plasma sword would be fifty, but it's a more powerful. It's the same damage. But it has a better crit effect. It has severe wound, so it's Vorpal basically. Severe wound. What, is like what's the, the uh, effect, what's the, the price H. difference between the two? I'll show you. Hang on. So because like the Storm Doshko, the Lightning Storm Doshko's base price is thirty five nine. I can contribute with the UPBs we have. I can contribute. Actually, the one I've got is only. Yeah, it's basically thirty five thousand. So it's about fifteen thousand difference. Okay. Um. I don't. Uh, the um. Honestly. I can, what, what weapons we find, I can, I can, we'll find stuff as we go. I, I'm, I can make that work. I'm going to focus more on the stuff that's harder to get, like the augmentations, um, which, and that's honestly more bang for my buck, because I can get Mark II biosynthetic nanites um, and Mark II regenerative blood for like 25,000 total. Would I be able to pull any connections and just, would I know what rifle, um, Rolling up. The solo up. bounty hunter would have? Medsy, what does she use? Like, what I know, make, model? Ooh, um, I would say. I'd say give me another, like, check to folk diplomacy or to gather information or culture. Culture. Which level polymorph did you have for us again? With the potions? Fours. Four. Fours? Oh. Yeah, because he got that that sweet 10% price. Yeah. That was Not like 10% um, discount. 10%. Yeah, that was yeah, like. No. That was probably by far like the most clutch thing right. I have ever. Like out of, out of like. Yeah, that was really good. Unfortunately, I don't quite have enough to get. Protein response mark four, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I think but... you would know she has some tier of seeker rifle, which is like seeker. a seeker rifle is like an analog uh, rifle, so you can't like hack it or anything, immune to target electrical surges and things like that. It's basically just like a just really good standard rifle or firearm. Yeah, yeah, is it's that... basically. 
It's not a sniper actually... rifle, but it's a, uh, it's, it's, a, a it's like an assault rifle. It's a long arm, yeah. So I wouldn't know, like, which tier it is. I would just know what kind of model um, it is. I mean, I would say you would be pretty confident that it's not the most basic one. There's yeah. four tiers. You think it's definitely not the bottom tier. He comes out with a 1d6 rifle. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what would be the most effective rifle to get. Because um, there is that rift hole, like the borehole one that does 66 and does it has the force tag on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, looking at a few different things here. I mean, while you guys browse, we could do our <clears throat> bathroom break. I gotta. Yeah, I was about to say, I have to use the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll do a bathroom break. Right consider, your, consider your products, what you're gonna buy. I have I some.
list of stuff for the. I'm working up a list of stuff for the ship right now. Nice. Hell yeah. We so, definitely didn't spend it all in one place. Technically. Not, technically, we didn't. I see there's dragon glands and borehole rifles. If, if you want to scroll up in our general chat, I posted what a crit would look like. Yeah, I saw that while I was on the phone with uh, with my daughter. It was gross. And it does an extra 3d6. Yeah, I love it. It's like, honestly, at that point, the corrode seems like so petty. Like, oh yeah, and this. <laughs> but to be fair, potentially losing 18 health a turn is lunacy. Just yes. Oh, yeah. I, I was also looking at getting a um, that one operative exploit where mm -hmm. your trick attacks cause bleeds. Dude, that's honestly like so hacker. good. That's what my, my home group does for Starfinder. The operative has that, and it's it's brutal. We what level, level are we, by the way? Me. We're uh, 11. We're level 11. Yeah, you guys yeah. leveled up at the okay. end of last session, because okay. I remember saying that you should level up before we came back. Shit. Yeah. Never yeah. actually do that. Uh, which, yeah, uh, sure all point of order. Uh, point of order, Ben. Yes. Um, we have not yet looted the thugs or Levi oh, yeah. Sorsa, yes. Sora's body Excuse either. Excuse me, yeah, we didn't do that. Hold on, let me get their shit back up. I do ask me. That's the question. I did me, but did I do ask me? That, alas, I cannot answer for you. Uh, let's see. Fly for your die. Back to the book five stats. Lean right, Sora. Okay. Um, she had four state security with her, but we'll get to them in a second. It did do ask me, it looks like. Cool. All right. That is her stuff. White carbon skin armor, uh, invisibility detector, white force field, hailstorm class zero pistol, ultra thin dueling sword. Um, there you go, Scorpio. Red star, red dwarf star capture amulet, uh, spell gems, and cred stick. How much? Oh, another 5,000. All right. Yeah. Uh, captive star amulets were pretty much fucking useless for you guys. It's basically lets her dispel magic even though she's not a caster. Oh, or even gotcha. though like she can do it like with her item basically. That's very helpful for us though. Yeah, one of you could certainly use it. Here, this is the link to captive star amulets. This is the red dwarf variety, which I think is honestly the cheapest one. But Most certainly did not. Shoot. Okay. I forgot about this. This was the, thing the that top I was tier off. one. The pulsar lets you redirect the spells that you're countering. Ouch. Yeah, but that's a level seventeen item. You must be so disappointed. None of us were casters. I mean, it's. It's. I thought. I think some of the situations you guys would have been in would have been far less deadly with a caster. But I like that you're succeeding without being. I feel like this is the only camp. Like, I, I, I think you said at one point, if there was a campaign to succeed without one, this is it. Yeah. Um. Hey, we're fine. I you stand. Have... I stand by that statement. We're fine. You just have a regular. At least of the um, ones that I read. Call it? Um. Travel suit, right? The uh, the gold one. Yeah. Or what do you have? Um. I think I have this pretty mean mark three. That is correct. Cause yeah, oh, we looted do? it off the guy. Yeah, we looted that off yeah. the guys. Remember, we okay. looted off the Vest Pirates. I, I might grab her carbon skin then. That's fine. Um, and then it was... Did I gotta scroll it? back, because the state is security were earlier in the... No, I, I don't. What level are summoning grenades? Where are which grenades? Summoning grenades? What, what, what level are the good grenades? Uh, I can... I know there are ones I can create right now at level 9. Are there uh, any good ones them. at level... All of this stuff times four from her guards, except I, I didn't specify this. Two of them had already used the healing serums. Okay. So there's only two Mark threes, not four. And they also, didn't they also grenade the shit out of us too? Um, yes. No, that was the one. Uh, yeah, they, they, they remember they, she lumped us up and they fragged the crap out of us. I think, 
Well, okay, so there's two times four, so be eight. I'd say they probably have, like, we'll say three frag grenades left. Okay. Because they definitely didn't oh. use all of them, but I don't feel like going back and meticulously counting them, so we'll say... That's fair. Uh, Ben? Yeah. I think I may have accidentally spoiled myself a little bit. Why? <laughs> I'm looking up drone mods, and one comes from the Gilded Cage. <laughs> stop, stop doing that. I need to figure out what mod I'm gonna use. It is always crazy. They introduce so many items in APs. They introduce so many. It's always been craziest to me about how many monsters there are available in Paizo systems. Like, yeah, first of all, Pathfinder 1E had six base bestiaries, apart from some side bestiaries they did. Each bestiary has at least 150 monsters. And then. They had, what, like 20 APs with six books each, and every single book introduced new monsters? All right, so... Huge. Do we think it's better for Espy to be able to... Should have named it as the shopping episode. <laughs> uh... Make grenades... At three levels lower than my engineering level. Uh huh. Or become a tattoo. Probably not that one. That was not great. I think. I think the grenades. Having a mortar bot sounds good. Yeah. It it can make at the cost of two resolve points per grenade, uh, up to three grenades every eight hours, or after a full eight hour rest. That's not terrible. I mean, you can at that level you can still get like Mark IV frag grenades. I think, even if you if, don't want to do summoning and yeah. stuff. On, only SB can use the grenades, but I think it's still worthwhile. I would agree. Question: right. Is is SB still mad at me for that time I attacked them while I was confused? Don't think SB is mad at you. I think that SB is happy to have survived the combat. That is not <laughs> always the thing is, I am happens. sure, like in character, Scorpio would be like worried about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's a problem, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. Oh, me. Well, okay, so that's my stuff inputted. I'll start working on the ship. It. Okay. You All wake right. up on now, a post. I did want to ask. Staring at you. <laughs> I did want to ask, would you guys be okay if I grabbed that uh, ultra thin dueling sword and the, the hailstorm pistol? Yeah, please. Go ahead. All right. What does the hailstorm hail do? Good. Two levels. Because <laughs> I do. Because I, I haven't had a backup energy uh, energy weapon for a while, so that that's that'd be a good one to have, I think. Um. Yeah. I mean. Always good to have a good uh, EAC weapon up your sleeve. Does someone have a list of grenades somewhere just so I can find out? Oh That's boy, I howdy do I! Also, in case I have, I still need to buy the new rule book. But I did see they posted in their Discord the other day. Archive of Nethys is now updated to have the new correct Pathfinder 2e information after they redid the rule books. Nice. Sure. You know what was right. the funny thing? This... To out the last thing I need to on out. on Sundays I'm in a Fist of the Ruby Phoenix AP and I've been enjoying that. Yeah, that one's good. From and that I hear. there's the grenade something list in came chat. up where uh, the Golden League got name dropped, and because of this game, it's like immediately out of character. I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do originate in TNG, so that that makes sense. They're just we're so good at crime, they. Lived they even survived the gap. Alright, like... I have SB fully fixed up, except the sheet isn't happy with it, but that's life because the sheet's stupid. Alright, and Ben, is the starship going to be relevant today, or is that something we can do later? It will not be relevant today. Okay. Look, drones don't get resolve points until level 10. Which means the Starfinder sheet just does not give them resolve points and there's no way to edit your maximum resolve points oh which wow. seems silly yeah, because there's a feat called extra resolve 
but oh yesterday they marked another deity safe sorry I, someone sent me the new they're still doing that god's reign prophecy thing for pathfinder mm -hmm. uh um, who, who is now safe uh nethus god of magic just got marked safe makes sense yeah they've done six right. so far cool with that out of the way sb can now make three grenades Every hour. Hell yeah. Or every eight hour rest. I should uh, specify. Okay. I'd say as you guys are, you know, like um I'd say most likely you'd probably would source this stuff on Verses, especially because they are good at augmentations anyway, if you get that worm fire gland. And I'm getting a couple as well. And at least on Verses it'll be a bit harder to be spotted. And I'm, we're gonna say that like you, you I think you guys can get away with a shopping trip real quick and then bang it out of there. Um mm -hmm. While you're doing that, I think Tarika would ask you to drop her off. Uh, she has a ship of her own. So she'd tell you, she's like, look, I've got a ship uh, I bought myself, Tarika says happily, that, with a share of my of the white glove, my share of the white glove job. Y'all are in a pickle, so I think we should meet up somewhere we don't have to wait hours for an answer. Try and lay low. There may be a job at Bricks a lot. It's this out of the way spaceport in the diaspora. Once you guys grab your gear, I'd head there. Wait, it, last does, time we did what Tarika asked didn't go well. Does Tarika also have a bounty? Um, no, not like you guys do. Because she wasn't directly involved in the theft of the ship. Look, Brick Slot, it, it might be a little spaceport, but it'll be good for avoiding notice for a bit. I'm going to go pick up Shan. So. I'll be maybe out doing that for about three weeks because she's a bit farther away at the moment. Well, I need to drop her off as well. If something goes wrong, I found some maybe promising drift coordinates. It might work. I'll send the coordinates along to you. We'll call that a plan B. But for now, I'd check out Brick's lot. Yeah, what will this job might be? Uh, well, I mean, there might be a variety of jobs there. There's couple people that are always uh seem to know what's going around uh, talk to brick anderslug he runs the uh bricks grub it's the restaurant there it's what the station's centered around not trust Trika. Next, we've been over this. I know, I know we have. And if you can't find any gear, or if there's any gear you're missing from Versys, with the amount of, well, sometimes pirates go through there, sometimes stewards go through there, but you should be able to get most of what else you need there if you can't find something on Versys. While we're on Verses, have we heard anything from our Verthani friends that we worked with on the station? Um, the V-Spec agents? Yeah. I think, considering on their home turf, they probably would at least attempt to make some clandestine contact with you guys. Um, not, I don't think they would offer much in the way of help, as they are representative of a government organization. But I think at least your two contacts would be like, like, if you need advice or maybe a way to bang out of a bad situation, we could try to help you with that. Uh, yeah, I'm not even necessarily, like, I'm not sure. I think more than anything else, I would at least like to maintain the relationship. I don't know if we need to call in a favor yet, but yeah. Yeah, you, I'd, I'd at least like to maintain. Definitely, you can meet up with uh, Varov and Luxrana. Keep that relationship mm -hmm. going. Yeah, I don't. I, obviously, I'll take tips on ways to stay undetected, you know, operate off the grid a bit better. Because mm -hmm. we might be in the clear legally, but, well, Sinjin plays dirty, so. Um. Um, so, if they have advice, we'll take it, but I, mean, like, I don't want to ask anything material of them at this moment, if folks are okay with that. Yeah, fair. Oh, and Ben, can we go ahead and recover our hit points and stuff? Because uh, yes. we'd be passing, we would be passing You're around be passing the. A couple uh, of days anyway, so you should be good. It, yeah, and passing around the helix to everybody. Oh and yeah, then, you got the helix oh. too. Yeah, absolutely. Um. 
Um, so, yeah, mostly I just want to keep that channel open. And if there's the only thing I might ask him is that if they hear, if they get, you know, well, if we're not sticking around Versys too much, I don't, I don't necessarily want them to stick their neck out for us. I was hoping they might give us a little bit of warning if they get wind of bounty hunters, but um, yeah, I at least just want to keep the, the, the dialogue open. Okay. Um, I would say just so you guys have a frame of reference uh, in terms of where you can go. The degrees of how fast you guys think you get noticed. If you are on Absalom, it's going to be minutes till you're noticed. If you're on a packed world settlement like Versys or one of the other planets or station, uh, it could be hours till you're noticed, which is why you could shop on Versys safely. Any near space settlement will be like a D4 days till you're noticed. Okay. That's good to know. So um, that might change, but in general, you think like the yeah, like the farther out, kind of going from like minutes to hours to days, the more you can get away. What do we want to deal with first? Hopefully, we can find some leads. If uh, I think maybe getting, I mean, we spent our gains from here, getting a couple jobs around this free port, and then maybe figuring out our next move we do need to get i would like to get after sinjin at some point if we can but i don't even know what that looks like because we'd have to get to absalom we might not even be able to make the landing on the station before we got stuff after this so i think we're at some point gonna have to deal with shotzi and, and Fireheart. yeah i think we just leave her for last until she comes for us <laughs> i think honestly we wait shaw is kind of like of the opinion of Maybe not being too obvious about it, but I kind of want to know a bit more what we're dealing with. I don't know. I've, I know we've got the the main, the Jameson lady, and then a couple of the other ones. Ben, have I heard anything else from uh, from the captain? From uh, Captain Ironstar? Let me check the days. Presumably you're taking at least another day to do this, to shop around. Yeah. Okay, and then in I that figure... case, yeah, I think you would get a contact from Captain uh, Ironsides or you don't want to get your captain's picture back up. Give me a sec. Ironstar, sorry, I said Ironsides. Yeah, um, you're good. Ironstar, I think, would... Uh, again, this is more of a passing digital contact as you're not wanting to stay in any one place long enough to actually link up with the captain. Right, exactly. But if Ironstar's intel is to be believed sometime in the coming weeks like one or two weeks um, as an envoy from not like the class envoy but like a representative from the Vescarium Fireheart is supposed to be doing like a tour and like a bunch of meetings in the Pact World specifically hmm You would think, according to his information, like, likely would probably stop at various plants to liaise with, like, military leaders. So probably, like, some stewards, uh, some of the Yoxian Defense Force, uh, some of the moons of Rathata have their own armies, the dragons on Triaxis he'd probably rendezvous with, for sure. Shaw kind of, you see him kind of absent, at that information, and kind of absent-mindedly fiddling with one of the battery packs from my plasma gun. We're yeah. fine. Could, could I ask you a favor? Yeah. Before we break contact, this would probably be very difficult, but maybe perhaps if we can... You think you could get Eshovayos? And you notice that, and I'll say this, Shaw is pointedly avoid, avoiding using the honorific name that was given to him. Um, you think you can figure out what his itinerary is? You think we might be able to dig that out? You'd have to get into the Vesk military networks. But or is that was that in the information that she sent? To see like exactly where exactly where he's stopping? Yeah. Um, I don't think she'd have had the exact data, more just like the concept of him going to military leaders. Hmm. I'd say you could try Shall... to use that uh Yeah, I'd say you could try to use the like best the, calm. Yeah, the best calm to see if you can hack into I... that. Alternatively, 
maybe Try, the, I have no guarantee. The alt maybe an alternative. Maybe when we get close to the time Shaw thinks about it. Oh, I wanna get after that son of a bitch. I need to figure out how. Can I can I try ringing up the Iron Devastator, see if they don't know anything? Um bring up the what? The Iron Devastators at Jax's. Yeah, you outfit. Can see if the, are you bringing it up to the party or bringing it up? Well, how are you trying to bring it up? To see if he knows anything. If he's heard any murmurings. About, uh, about the vest coming in? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah, okay. I think, um, yeah, they, you could contact them and Jax would be able to inform you all. Uh, the only confirmed meeting is in, let's see, that would be in eight days, uh, Fireheart is going to meet with some of the draconic rulers, specifically of the military, on Triaxis. How do we draw him out? And okay. Shaw. Actually, I would say I I was rolling for that as well. I think you would know eight days on Triaxis, or in ten days. Um, let's see. Well, Triaxis where Project Genome is. I think was. that might be the. It was. I mean, buzz, you guys yeah. already got attacked by Project Genome. Um, that, that was it? That was the entire project, that one asshole? I mean, there could potentially know. have made more. Uh, I would say the next would most likely be the Eoxians on the Eox. Mm. With their undead army. That kind of rubs his chin a bit. I'd like to get after him if we can, but I also don't want to. Sure. Yeah, Fuck. I think, I think um, getting after him is is on your to do list, Shaw, and we should take the opportunity to do it. It's gonna be easier to get at him here than when he's on on the ship. Yeah. Did did uh, did her? Did either of the information we get either from the captain or from? Uh, or from the Iron Devastator, say where the uh, what kind of ship he's in. Um. Ooh. Well, the Devastator. I wonder if we might try and take him. Wonder if we might be able to take him ship to ship. Trying to remember the frickin' uh, I mean, if he's in a battleship or something, that's gonna be way too spicy a meatball to chew, but... What level are you guys now? Eleven. Eleven now, yeah. Okay, that's the one I was looking for. Sorry, I couldn't remember the name of it. Um, by all accounts, he would be in a Vindicus Enforcer. Um, those are basically... they they're, It's a Vescarium ship. They are very well equipped gunways but uh, their main function is to deliver squads of specialized troops to best controlled territories uh, it, uh, it, would we know about the um, the ship's stats what, what it's capable of um, at least some of like the probably like declassified stuff they probably keep some stuff to themselves for military reasons Okay. Right. Uh, I, I what, just, is it a tr what class of ship is it? Is it cruiser? Uh, it is a cruiser. Uh, oh, a huge sized uh, not, cruiser. Not the best, not the worst. Um, mm, I would say you know that they are. They got a lot of shield and a lot of health, but they are 
certainly slower than you guys and less maneuverable. All right. Uh, I think you would know that if the rumors are to be believed, um, their best weapon is a uh, turret mounted. I think it's on the upper side of a Vindicus Enforcer, uh, but it is a X laser cannon, which is like 8d6. They don't have any like capital weapons, do they? Uh, no, I don't think you can mount capital ones unless it's bigger than a huge ship. Cruisers can mount them, but it's only in the forward arc. Oh, uh, okay. Um, the thing, a capital ship weapon can only go in the front arc of it. They have... What's our... Potentially. What the fuck is that designation? So, in terms of speed, ours would be better. What's our current speed for the tuna? Uh, yeah, what is your guys' current speed? Is, well, it's maxed out. It's speed 12. Um, and oh. good per, and good maneuverability. They might have a capital weapon. Is this a capital weapon? Is that has a times ten on it? Um, I was confused because on the ship stat block, it was not listed as that, and there was an error. It was just like a, what's it called? A tilde squiggle next to the dice. But I guess it was meant to be a times ten. So yes, they do have a capital weapon. So that it'll one shot us if it hits. It's rough. They only have it is a limited fire one. I'll say that. I, 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 I no, we're, we're not taking on a cruiser with a capital weapon. Let's see. How much health do you guys have? Uh, not probably. If it's an anti, if it's what I think it is, it's not enough to survive that. I don't think. Um. Guys have to be really careful. Which arc you're in. Yeah, I, I was just curious. I, like, if it was a destroyer, I'd try. I'd, I'd be happy to try our luck. But a cruiser's up. Uh, that's a spicy meatball. Yeah, no, it's it, it, that'd be death if we fought that. That's yeah. not. Nah, we'll have to find a way to fight him. I was hoping that'd be an option, but we'll have to find a way to fight them on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Nice try with that, Ben. I'm being like Mad Max here. That's that's bait. <laughs> that's are you, bait. you actively adding? Are you actively adding stuff to the ship, uh, Shaw? Not yet. I've only added the VI. I'm I'm writing some ideas out. I have not added anything yet. I will say, um, okay. Vindicus enforcers are large enough that like he, there is a shuttle bay on those. Like he probably they probably have personal shuttles. Oh yeah, that's yeah. A cruiser can't land. Yeah, correct. Like he's not he's not touching that down on Eox or Triaxis. Uh, try and, and my... most likely. What are they called? Oh, it's the really flat one. There's a sh what's the shuttle that you flew in? In character? Oh me? Oh uh, the Norikama dropship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think it would probably be a Norikama dropship if it's his. I think the sh ship, which I think is yeah. It's a much lower tier. It's lower tier than you guys are. It's a meat. Well, no, it's a. The Norikama is like a level seven, I think. It's a medium sized ship. I don't know if it'll fit in a shuttle bay. We can, I mean, but we can always hand wave that. It's, you know, the, you know the, I mean, I think Norikama is what probably would fly is what some I would have modified one. Yeah. Be right back. Oh, if that motherfucker salvages the wreck of my old ship, I'm going to blow his brains out. <laughs> I mean, I think you're probably going to do that anyway, but. I'll set it on full automatic, then I'll blow his brains out. There you go. There it is. Um, let's keep our ear out. I want to see if we can't get after him. Which of the two plan? I don't want to go anywhere near Eox. I think even Shaw would know that the Eoxians have a huge fucking military and don't suffer the visitors kindly. They don't love that. Well, there's also the fact that, like, they are... Are they okay with the corpse fleet? Are they not okay with the corpse fleet? We don't know. And uh, Corpse fleet, for those who don't know, is basically like ostensibly a rogue military organization from the undead planet, but is like heavily suspected that it's like, yes, the corpse fleet is rogue and maybe they are not rogue and we just use them so we can disavow them, but they do work for us. These totally, totally plausibly deniable fleet actions. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think Shaw would really not want to fuck with, e with the Eoxians, because 
I mean, Triax is, is militarized, but I mean, it's also kind of fragmented, if I, as I recall. Triaxis, um, if my knowledge is holding true, I think is a lot more fragmented into almost like fiefdoms. Uh, I don't remember if there's like a central ruling Draconic Council. Yeah, I think there's like some Draconic Corporations and then, you, what, what, then whatever was left of the Free Alliances that opposed them. That's out of character. I don't know if Shaw would know all of that. I think he knew enough, he knew enough to antagonize uh, uh, what's-her-name, but... Yeah. Well, I think... Hmm. A few days in a lot. Here, I'll drag it onto stream as well, but like... This is like a military parade on Triaxis. I'll put it in the Discord as well, but it's so cool. Just fucking dragons marching with like drow and dragon kin. Yeah, I think Triaxis. I think Triaxis might be a better shot. I know Shotzi's occasionally around there too, so this might get spicy. Last but... time you heard from Shotzi, she was on Triaxis, that is true. We know she at least has holdings there, but she also had... mm -hmm. yeah. Which planet is Edgecore home? Dude, Edgecore like are they registered under? Everywhere. Which me. planet are they registered under? I don't know if they have a specific one. I'll check. Or, or, which planet has the stock exchange? Oh, I mean, Absalom for sure has the stocks. Okay, I I'm trying to figure out when Shotzi learns that Edgecore has... <laughs> De-blacklisted us? <laughs> or has taken her stuff, yeah. De-blacklisted us and has majority stakeholding in Blackheart it's security. Like... Oh, I think we'll note because Ruth is going to be in a massive expletive laden text on Scorpio's oh, comms yeah. device. Yeah, is, it's where like I, I go to deal the, with that. The way I'm picturing it is is that during our whole like few days like shopping <laughs> excursion here, it's like Scorpio's like you know he's you know trying to you know keep it in touch with show, and he's like he's like recording you know sending little recordings of like romantic songs to her, and it's like. And he's just like, oh, that's a pretty quick response. Then just sees like a bunch of like Vesk uh, expletives from Shotzi just over and over. <laughs> just like copying and all... pasting curses over and over again. Oh, uh, yep. she's. Um, also, I think at some point, it's while like, we're trying, wow, it's like, wow, it's like I, I don't think we've, I don't think I've heard, wow, I don't think Vesk used that one since before the gap. I think while we're at it, Shaw might also send Severana to message him. We made it. We're live. We're still getting some things figured out, but hopefully uh, we can take you up on that drink soon. So, uh, Shaw, uh, what's, what's going on with you and uh, Miss Severana? Huh? She seems interested. We'll see how it goes. we got to live long enough to en enjoy time with... I feel like Severano would be, be wily enough to be like, when you don't have a nearly 200,000 bounty. That was the idea. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm not meeting up. Like I said, we're all still steering well clear of our various significant others at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's good here. Because, you know, I think... I did want to ask you, just out of character, did... Do we? Do I still have the fancy Kasathan tea set? that survived yeah, the whole I think, thing. I think they... I don't see a right. reason why that would have been gone. Alright, so here's here's what I'm thinking. Once once everything dies down, we could have, like, a nice little double date. We watch some, like, YouTube video tutorials about how to do, like, the Kasath tea ceremony, and we can really impress him with that. What do you think? Sure. I'd be, I'd be down. Good. Rubs of... Probably, I, like, I imagine at some point he, he's he just... I could stand to enjoy some of the finer things in life for a little bit. What was the role for that, by the way? I forget. Was it just a straight culture check? The tea set one? I think it was culture. Yeah, I, I, I think it was a couple different one. culture sets, yeah. I think well, that's the thing. Like I, had, I got it because when we were on... When we were, you know, we, were, when when we were with... We, at the actual ceremony, it's like, I rolled so terribly. The guy's oh, like, that's right. here. It's like, he's like, out of pity, he's like, here, have this. It's like yeah, the, learn, learn how to do it. What's it called? The Wooden Spoon <laughs> Award? Yeah. 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 I think, I think, um, 
Sh uh, like James just has like a like a boot camp for the two of you where he just in like a dark room sets up the table at the tea set <laughs> any, anytime anytime you get something wrong I think I got a black check at one point and I just smack you with it <laughs> we have to be civilized right. in case we hit a fancy client yeah it's like and it is like even and you know normally like I said Scorpio is pretty calm but it's like if you hit him it's like he's having to like here you you see like the claws flexing he's like don't don't you want to learn or not fine fine that's how you gotta learn so all, right. all right so well, I do have a question I, for, have before... you ever seen that one that one bit from like Team Four Star where it's Gohan's teacher just whipping him <laughs> God. I haven't thought about that in forever. Oh, yeah, I don't remember that. Uh, I, I think we find it. So I have a quick question for the crew here, because I'm looking over stuff and about it. areas we want to prioritize prioritize for ship upgrades. I'm not going to worry about the exact details now, because Ben knows exactly how when I start getting into the nitty gritty on these things, I lose all my I go I go slightly nuts. Um, do we want? Um, do we want to focus on... So the power core is easy. It's only seven build points. That leaves us 53 remaining. Do you guys want me to focus more on support systems, more on survivability, or do we want to try and fit an additional weapon? Because on do terms of fire... Shoot an additional weapon? So at our current level, we can. In fact, um, whoever's on the turret can double tap with it if we're close enough, because that has the particle beam and a heavy laser net. I, what I I'm thinking... Think Go for what the I, double tap and get the biggest fuck off gun you can find. So, there's two options for that. I can either, using the upgrades for it, we can add in the magic torpedo system and I can upgrade it to the mid size one on the aft turret. That way, whoever is on the, not on the turret, can either fire the main gun forward, the persistent particle beam, or fire backwards with the torpedo launcher, because that one can shoot in our side arcs as well. So that way we always have 360 degrees of firepower for both gunners. Um, that is the more consistent option. The other option, if you want Scorpio, this one's kind of you since you're usually on the forward gun. Right. How would a full-size Gatling gun with 15 D4 damage sound? I think that sounds pretty fucking sweet, actually. It actually gives me a reason to use my... Oh, the power up for the ones. Divert to guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number of dice. Very well, nice. Well, because the turret, the, the currently the two particle beams we have are each ten d six damage, so that's already good reason enough to use them. But I'll start doing some work on that then, because we'll have to upgrade the forward mount and do some of that. We may want a missile launcher instead. I'll do. I'll present a couple of options. But if we were looking going all in on the forward guns, then I'll either I'll look into some stuff on that. And the uh, the. Doesn't the Gatling gun only do half damage against shields, though? Against shields, but with two persistent particle beams, we should be able to be cleaving right through all but the thickest shielding. I I, I do think that... So we can only get one more weapon, right? We can get a couple add more. more. Well, and we can add more mounts for more weapons. Yeah, can, we'll talk about it more later. Mount. But you're not going to be like... in Starship combat today, anyway. Um, Let's, we'll, like we'll, talk about it. we'll talk about it later. Yeah. yeah. So. Just my, my one piece of input... I would like a second weapon, uh, a second weapon that isn't the laser net on the turret. So uh, we'll talk about that. The version I upgraded to was the big one, though. So it's actually a pretty good weapon in close. We'll talk about it. As long as it does that. I, I think we we would like to keep our distance from some things, though. Some things, yes. So, like I said. Um, um, let's see. All right. I would say, uh, yeah, Scorpio like walks out, and you seem like I'm imagining like probably less like John Wick, but it's like you know like. You ever, you ever seen uh, Kingsman? Not in a while, but I've only seen a couple scenes right. of it, but I know of it. But it's it. like, yeah, basically he's, I imagine he's walking out of a shop like that, and you see him wearing, like, like an even nicer suit that he had before. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, man, it's like, if I knew this thing existed before, I would have gotten it sooner. Um, any other pre pre preparation you guys do before you head over to uh, Brickslot so you can get some jobs? 
Um, just one quick question for going there. I just want to make sure we're keeping an eye on time, so that way we can, if we want to try and get at, uh, get after Fireheart. So, but yeah, other than that, yeah, I'm good to head over to Brick's lot. Um, it should be still within the same diaspora, so it'll take you like a D4 days divided by two. Should be pretty quick. Okay. Basically, I would say just roll it, because like, we're dividing by two, just roll a D2. It'll either be a day or two days. Okay. Uh, ba -dum -ba -ba. All right, one day. Or, yeah, sorry, one day. Or, yeah, 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 because better. We'll go better. All right, so that's been 150 days now. Um... Because of our uh, fancy drift drive. Yes. Uh, and you guys, so you head to this, you know, small little outpost. It's an asteroid with, like, standard gravity. Breathable, but pretty low atmosphere. And Brick's lot is centered around the restaurant. You guys have heard about Brick's Grub, run by Brick Anderslug. Uh, you guys know he's pretty known for his bad hygiene, but bombastic attitude. Brick's Grub is good. It's cheap and tasty. A lot of space pirates come through here. Vagabonds loiter on the asteroid from time to time. Um, as you guys head in, are you trying to be stealthy about this? How are you going about getting to the station? I would... Given that... So the whole idea of the Oliphant is being kind of a... Uh, a, supposed to be a normal looking transport ship that can do more than lets on I'm going to try, I think maybe we try just kind of like kind of stealthy fly casual approach coming up to the station alright, casual approach um, I guess here's the questions we know there's pirates and stuff what do we see on the approach is there anything like any ships around that look kind of like noteworthy uh, give me a perception check Not terrible. Um, oh, I need to use the damned ion stone at some point. Oh, that's for later. Nothing that seems to super jump out at you. There's a lot. There's definitely some pirate ships here. A um, couple of Sarcesians are probably the biggest population there right now. Sarcesian pirates. Here I can. Um, it's like a race that can fly through the void. Hmm. Oh, yeah, they're the ones who live out here, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, have, I think I have a mini of them somewhere on my desk here. I don't know where I went. Not of a pirate simply, but a regular Sarcesian. Uh, aside from that, nothing really comes out of note. I mean, as you guys approach the restaurant, you can see Big Man himself, uh, Brick Anderslug, chatting away to his customers, kind of going in and out of the kitchen, even though he's not actually cooking. The chef's doing that laughing with people at different tables uh you get the sense that despite brick being there this is still like a pirate den you see people are armed ready to throw down if need be but if you guys enter brick is like hey welcome welcome come on in yeah, we got a table over there uh by the east window all right thank you very much uh, after a few minutes, um, he comes by. And he's like, so, uh, kind of like forces himself down his considerable bulk into like a small diner chair. I uh, want a little red ones. He's like, so, uh, are you here for some grub or uh, some business meeting associates? What's your deal here? Uh, uh, maybe a bit of both. Boost. Yeah. <laughs> we got. You got any, uh, buffalo wings? Uh, we've got wings, we've got, uh, we got some good burgers there. Couple of, uh, space manta rays we took out the other day have been filleted in the back. Ooh, yes please. He, like, shouts something unintelligible to Chef in the back, who, like, angrily shouts back about it. He's like, it'll be out, it'll be out. <laughs> But you said uh, some business as well? Yes. I understood you may have a little bit of work for independent star pilots. Or star crews, rather. Uh, 
entrepreneurs, privateers, it doesn't matter. We can find some work, sure. Um, uh, is there anything particular in the vein for moving cargo, moving people? Uh, we move cargoes are ten cargo tends to be our main forte. Anything involving oh. murder is okay. He kind of like <laughs> he's, <laughs> that's good to know. That's good to know. Uh, he's like scratches his chin. So he's like, mm. let's see, let's see. Uh, I know. Uh, well, I got something. Uh, pretty lucrative opportunity out on Triaxis if you're interested in working for, uh, oh, it's one of the dragon cores there, uh, this one's, uh, Arconomix. It's a, mm. some research design group, uh, terraforming tech, I believe. Ooh. You'll be working for, uh, Varen Vays. She's the current... They like to call themselves CEO, Big Dragon in Charge, Ed Honcho. Um, I think you would probably pull up a picture of her. Uh, did I save her picture? I thought I did. No. Oh, because I spelled it wrong. Um, yeah, very old, uh, big gold dragon. Uh, he shows you guys this image of her. Good to know. But, uh, We've killed dragons before. Well, now on. it's... I don't want to kill her. You sure? Well, I don't know. They always say a dragon has a horde somewhere, right? Yes, there's also the saying, mm -hmm. if you strike at the king, you best not miss. Is the so what's what well, what's the what job for the us job? there? Well, uh, there is a minor job which would be to uh, ship some crates. I don't know exactly what's in them. Should be temperature controlled, though. I'm told between different parts of Triaxis over a couple of days. The higher paying job, uh, the dragon secretary, this uh, little Yosoki named Meb, told me uh, 14,000 credits uh, for four hours of work for each of you. This will be pretty easy. It's just, you know, it's providing security within a car in the mix headquarters. Uh, there's meals provided, lodging provided, but simple security job, uh, probably around the penthouse. They expect any problems? Uh, you see, Andrew Slug shrugs like, aren't they always? But can I, a, can I do a sense motive? Is he pulling back? Um, yeah, give me a sense motive check. Um, I think I think he's like holding back. You think he's more just like the vibe is like, yeah, no shit. They're definitely something's going down. But what do I care? That's our problem, not his. <laughs> I would say if you, if you like, based on the information you received about, you know that this are, is the company Arconomix. You know that uh, the current head uh, is Varenve. I'd say if you guys wanted to give me like a culture or an engineering check, because it is a uh, tech engineering firm. See if you know any of that information. Okay, we got uh, 17, 33. Okay, that 33 is going to do it. Uh, refine, there are some rumblings uh, that despite the fact that Virenve has like just created premium fucking products, unmatched safety standards. She's been killing it for well over a century. And that was, you know, she has been around even longer than that. She's a very old dragon. Um, 
this has garnered her substantial respect among a lot of their clients in the pact worlds but you have heard lately that there have been rumblings in Triaxis's business world of an up-and-coming executive named Nalathraz. This is a blue dragon. Uh, if Aaron Bay is a mature dragon, uh, Nalathraz is a young adult, so certainly a lot smaller, a lot less physically powerful, but uh, very technical, very like you know business savvy. Nalathraz is hoping to. Uh, in s somehow expand his invest portfolio and get a hostile takeover of Arconomix. This is generally seen as like a good cutthroat business move profit-wise, uh, at least in the triaxis circle of things. That's how they often like to think. You know, like, employees don't matter, get the profits, get the dragon horde, all that stuff. Um, you would know that Nalathraz thinks that uh, Baron Vey is weak because she coddles her minions. Hmm. Um, that being said, Baron Vey hasn't necessarily like gone after Nalathraz, but that's the only rumbling that you see that would provide you like an inkling of like, okay, is this why? Is this why this is happening? I think I'll just say to everyone, we we may have a little bit of a uh, Shotzi Scorpio situation going on here. Interesting. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to kill her eventually, anyway. No, 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 no. Says, no, no, no. Two dragons. Wait, two what? dragons. Two dragons. Two dragons. Oh, well, and. The blue, uh, the, the gold dragon is the one we'd be working for. Yes, and correct. Yeah, she seems reasonable. By the if, if he's if the other guy is upset that she tr actually treats her employees well, then strikes me as somebody Shaw would at least be interested in working for. Uh, so, but besides which, 14, 14 grand for four hours seems reasonable. And out of curiosity, what's the t kill and I was dragon, though? Yeah, I recognize that. And I'll uh, remind you, the first time we killed a dragon, it didn't I'd, exactly go great. Ideally, if this is a security gig, well, ideally if this is a security gig, we'll have we'll be on our home to if not on theirs this time. That's true. Ideally. I think it's worth doing. I think it's, I worth, think it's doing. worth doing. I agree. Out of curiosity, what's the time frame for this little bit on tri on triaxis? I think it's sometime a uh, week after next or something like that. Perfect. We'll be uh, we were thinking about heading down that way anyway. So you'll Shaw looks around. Are there any objections? I don't have any objections. Yeah. Sounds like good work to me. Done deal. Excellent. Yeah. I will relay the information yep. to you so you can uh, you can go get the stuff from them. Sounds good. And then Ben also out of character, and we can resolve exactly what that entails later. But um, we'll uh, I figured we would spend our BP upgrading the ship while we're on the station here before we head out. Gotcha. I mean, this would be where we would do it. I would assume, unless you think we would have time to do it on Triaxis. No, there's uh, adequate facilities here to do it. Okay. I'm assuming are there we can talk later about it. Let me know if there's any restrictions on hardware or anything, but um I have some plans. Although I guess if this is kind of a free trade port, there's probably a lot of stuff that comes and goes. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. Sorry, I keep no, you're good, things. You're good. Um Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Um Yes, I hear you, Paladin. Good lord. <laughs> just fucking losing his mind. Mine just mine jumped in my lap a few minutes ago. All happy, and then clamped down on my forearm. Just like, why? Alright. Yes. Alright. Um, I hate spring so much. 
as uh, you guys are doing this, I'm going to bring us to a, because chat redeemed this as well. Where's the other map that I wanted? That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's this folder. Sorry. I think it's separated by a bunch of fucking folders here. That's what happens when you have too many maps. <laughs> we upset chat with too much legal yeah fucking legal the... banter that, and then, and then uh, we w immediately went to a shopping trip yep. yeah <laughs> I mean I, we were only you know bargaining for our freedom um alright I'm going to delete some tokens here we're going to go and use an old bar that we haven't used in a hot minute because there's no official bar map here but, I just imagine at some point while we're while we're here, it's like uh, uh, with Scorpio's drinking, and he's uh, like, are... eh, I can just imagine what shots he's gonna be like. Like, oh Scorpio, how could you sell out sell out our company like that? Uh, you guys be over by the east table. That's where Brick was talking to you. Um, yeah, see, so because I would have my rifle. Yeah, yeah, I would have my rifle out, like slung over my shoulder, but not like. Yeah, I was like, I mean, that's like expected. Vanishing. This is the, like I was saying when you guys walked in. That is like what's happening. Oh, this would probably be up on the wall or something close. Scorpio will be my shield. <laughs> oh, where am I? I need to drop my, drop my thing. Actually, no. S would almost certainly be on the table. I feel like SB climbs or at least on or table. under the tables. <laughs> Are these windows? Um, those oh are shit, windows. he did put us by the windows. Uh, can, can I be <laughs> <in the table? laughs> for fuck's sake. Whatever. I, I, Here, you can have my corner. You can have my corner. Uh, give me a perception check as you guys are at the table. Also, if nobody else is going to use it, I'm going to use that blue rhomboid ion stone because otherwise we're not. Nobody's taking advantage of it. Yeah, go for it. Right. That's an after combat thing, but we've been denying uh, ourselves one of our most expensive items. James, you can tell that there are two bounty hunters approaching you, specifically ones that are very hard to tire. That's why they chose the profession. Uh, it looks like a pair of intelligent ghouls have sighted in on you. They are Do they clearly, look like they're they're readying to attack you guys. You, I would say, as a bounty hunter and on the perception check, you get the sense like, okay, these dudes are some of the bounty hunters that are after our bounty. They're probably not shouting about that because they don't want every fucking person in here to jump you guys for the cash reward as well, but they want it. But I'd be able to, without warning anyone, just try to get off a shot. Um, I'm going to say since they're looking at you, that's going to be a like a sleight of hand type thing versus their perception. All right. Okay, you got 25. What's their perception bonus? All right. Okay, they need to roll a eight or higher on the dice uh, for them to notice this and go straight to initiative. All right, six. You can get off one quick shot uh, before we enter. Cool. And I'm uh, so don't forget to reset time. your stamina. While you're rolling that, I'm just gonna clear the previous order from the last map. Uh, but go ahead, and I'll roll these dudes. Right. Too. Uh, which can one I are, get are off you? A snipe? Yeah, you, you get one off. Or. They, they right. failed by, like, they rolled literally, like, two lower than they fucking needed. So does that count as my actual roll for the sniper, or do I need to roll another stealth? Um, I would or... say do a do a stealth for it. All right. For sake. Oh, my God. You're dice today. So cursed. Um, I'll go for this one here. The Sorry, which one's that again? I, you... I missed it. Oh, the left one. Okay. I could re-roll it. I'd rather save. I'd rather try and bank the points the right now. Switch to some fucking combat Sick. music. Uh, well, go. You see <laughs> the borehole rifle boom, goes off. It's the first time you've seen combat. Uh, you see they duck down. It impacts their armor. They do not seem very shaken by that. That is not going to hit. Or at least not penetrate their armor. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll initiatives. I am going to roll theirs. It does target EAC, if that matters at all. Uh, it did. 
that potentially okay. could matter if it was a higher roll, but it was low enough that it did not matter this time. Uh, do we get? Did you get SB in there? Oh yeah, you got SB. I did. All right. Uh, looks like in that case, Scorpio, you did manage to clear them. Oh, my turn tracker is not working. That's annoying. Um, I'll I'll fix the turn tracker, but uh, Scorpio, you're gonna be up first. All right. I swear, sometimes that turn tracker it. just freaking fails. All right. Go ahead and uh, let's go ahead there and give my new. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and give uh, my new uh, semi-auto pistol a try. Go ahead and take a shot at uh, this one here. Hell yeah, go for it. Twenty-seven. That is going to be a hit on their KAC as the first round slams. We see a bit of like black sluggishly slow blood leaking out. Uh, but it does damage him. Alright. Alright, and I'll just or take like a bit of a step uh, here just to... Yeah, sorry, I can take. I heard you next. I'm just going to have Scorpio finish. Alright, yep. I'll just sort of like step here, just sort of uh, get in front of Refine, and then that'll do for me. Hell yeah. Okay, what, what were you saying uh, for Refine? Oh, it's the stealing. <laughs> in Brick's Grub Hut or whatever this is, uh, probably yes. not tall would be my first guess. Um, I don't think it's listed, but I think for this bad hygiene, shitty restaurant on an asteroid, I'd say like maybe twelve feet to the ceiling. It's not big. Twelve feet. Okay. Thank you. So I, I just need the calculations for SV math. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> and we we can we'll round it to like ten because I don't think it's fifteen. And just for to make movement right. easier. Cool, cool. Cause ain't, ain't no way brick scrub hut is got the vaulted ceilings. Cathe ain't no cathedral what? ceilings yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely not. Just like old grease smoke covered ceilings. All right, uh, it's gonna be the ghoul bounty oh. hunters, uh, who both growl. Don't think they're gonna close into melee distance yet. Um, also, I think I can show you guys. That's their, like, full art right there. Nice. Using the... I changed it a bit for their statue, but that's, like, the Let's ghoul shock trooper some... template. Pythagorean theorem real quick. That's literally on my favorites bar for, for how much I play games like this. Pythagorean theorem link oh come on roll 20 let me pull up the sheet there you go all right let's see let's see oh that? that's gross okay whatever that's fine <laughs> not bad maybe a little bit all right um you see both of them all right so the one on the left that's been hit uh is going to spin up an artillery laser the one on the right uh shoulders a rifle it's a auto beam rifle, and they are each going to activate a soldier's onslaught and make three attacks each. Just a crazy opening salvo. All right. Um. I think this is going to be the breakdown. Guy on the left is going to go Shaw Scorpio Refine. Uh, guy on the right is going to go Shaw James Refine. Okay. So Shaw, you're getting double dipped here. That's my job. So am I, I think. Uh, oh, you are as well, yeah. 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 Um, I was just trying to see what made sense angle-wise. You see uh, <laughs> fucking Brick, like, hit the dirt and run over here. You see other pirates and patrons just kind of scrambling for cover. You know, it's like they're ready to fight if they needed to, but they're like, this is not our fucking deal. Who cares? Um, so let's start with the left ghouls. This will be Shaw, Scorpio, Refine two three okay um freaking quick maths here uh 34 against eac for shaw that hits 34 against eac for scorpio and 30 for refine yep 
Yeah, that yep, that hits. Okay, all three are going to hit from this left dude. He was popping off. That was uh, even on a minus six. That's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, he rolled stupid well on that. All right, so for uh, Shaw, 28 fire damage. Reduced to 17. Reduced, yep. Uh, Scorpio, 25 fire damage. Uh, Refine, 21 fire damage. Uh, then the one on the left, give me again, uh, Shaw, then James, then Refine. Uh, Shaw most assuredly missed, that was a terrible roll. Uh, 31 EAC for James. Yeah. And 27 EAC for a fine. Yeah. Okay, so one on James for 25, one on refine for 32. That was a big roll. Um, that is, of course, their full round action. That's their full turn going over to Shaw. That's just a hail of, like, rotating artillery fire and like tactically placed laser beams from the other dude sail through the air. Allow me to retort. Uh, I'll take a five foot step forward, kicking the chair out of the way. And I would have drawn my, because uh, remember I have the feet that lets me draw my rifle when I, uh, or draw my, my gun when I yeah. uh, roll initiative. So Such a good feat. click. Anybody else in my line of fire except these two? Oh, absolutely. There's do tons of patrons. Okay, then I'm not going full auto. <laughs> this is a busy fucking restaurant. Just because they ducked for cover does not mean they're gone. All right, then, yeah, then Shaw will uh, not go full automatic there. I almost did. Um, I yeah, mean, then if you full want to incur the wrath of a bunch of different pirate crews, you know. I I'm going to prefer not to. Instead, I will <laughs> focus a gone. full attack on I will focus a full attack on the wounded guy. Hell yeah, okay. So what I'm hearing is no grenades. Yeah, no grenades right now. <laughs> We're finally free traders. Collateral damage. All right, okay, those are two hits. Um, I don't think they have any resistance to electricity or fire. So that shit's going to punch straight through for 30, 48 damage total. Uh, guy on the left, still not bloody. Looking pretty uh, wounded, though, at this point. Not bloody. Uh, anything else or over to SP? Uh, over to SP. All right. Little bot. So All right. Go. Espy's gonna go over this way, climb up the wall, and then go on the ceiling over to here, which is a total of 40 feet, which is Espy's move. I imagine, like, I'm not gonna say Espy falls, but like, I like this ceiling so, like, shitty and greasy from this gross <laughs> diner. Like, a little bit of slippage on the claws. It's a gross um, film. Yeah. And then we'll shoot with the the one on the left with the Sonic Suppressor. Uh, sometimes it's so Soon good that to misses. see the party focus fire. I assume it misses them. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna do it. Good. Four on the die. Um, alright. Then it's gonna be back to actual refine. Alright. I will attack with, um, I think move action, will Miracle Worker on Refine's Armor. And what does that add to the armor again? Is and that just plus one? Two, two each. Oh, two to each. Okay, that's even better. Yeah. Hell yeah. And then we'll shoot with my assassin rifle at the one on the left. 25 for 24. Um, Is that KAC? KAC, yeah. It's going to be just shy as it deflects off their armor. Okay. All right. And that's it for me. Uh, all right, that means it is going to go over to James. Um, 
What is your play going to be, James? Or, I don't know if you're there or muted. No, it's muted. Okay, there we go. Uh, which one was the more hurt one? Left one. Um, left one? Right. Left one, yeah. Uh... I, I can sort of, like, duck and hide behind the table, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, honestly, I'd say you could fucking kick the table over on its side and get down behind it bar fight style. All right. I'll do that, and I'll take a shot at the left one. So, yeah, bouncing the rifle on the table. Um, CR7? Not CR7. Higher than that. Son of a bitch. Um... Son of a bitch. <laughs> this... You're just punching straight holes through the walls of the restaurant back there, but it is not hitting them. All right. Uh, back over to Scorpio. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take some movement here. 10, 15, get up in. Go ahead and get up in this dude's grill. And I just love it when synergy happens because I damaged him. I get my opening volley here. Oh, true, true, true. Okay, so, sorry, the real one. So I get, uh, so I'll go ahead and roll uh, melee. Get plus two uh, to the attack yeah. roll. Sprinting up with the pistol in one hand, sword in the other. Such a cool look. Uh, so it'll be oh, 30. That will definitely go through on 19. Uh... Just barely above bloodied, almost exactly bloodied, as you find like a narrow gap in the armor and just drive that dueling sword into it. All right, that's all for me. All right, that's gonna be the uh, ghoul assassins. They are both going to throw down uh, their guns to the floor. This one's going to five foot step closer. Actually, no, this one's going to, let's see. Zigzag around to Shaw. Um, and they're going to, we've already seen doubles of uh, your abilities, Wilco. I'm about to copy your opening volley, <laughs> Scorpio. But they're going to jump on you with bites and claws. Uh... Leftmost one is going to do a full attack, a bite, and a claw. Um, actually, a fucking soldier's onslaught. Do bite, claw, claw. Uh, Shaw, just going for the bite. Alright, so we're starting with Shaw first. Uh, 28 against Casey. Miss. Alrighty, uh, in that case... Okay, 20 is going to miss Scorpio. Then 25 also misses Scorpio, I assume. Yep. And 31 versus KAC. Yep. KAC is now 33. Okay, and that was on the claw, so there's no fever bite. But I do need you to give me a fortitude save. All Even right. though all of them missed? The they final missed. one did. Is it? Is KAC 33? No, the final one missed. Oh, you said 33? Sorry. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Did I miss her? Yeah, my KAC yeah, is 33 they now. Yep. All of them. Mm -hmm. They rolled so much worse on that than their guns. Yeah, I just imagine it goes for the bite, and you see him pull up, like, the arm, and just gets caught in, like, the, the lining of the suit. See, I told you this was a good investment. Damn. That's bad for them. That's their big, a big play for them. Uh, Shaw. So, he'll look over at him. Wait for your turn. Um, and then I'm going to take a five-foot step back, keeping myself, um, between him and... For fine and james yep. and then i'm going to keep taking my shots at the one in combat with scorpio all right um you step back Full attack. The ghoul, making your shots yeah i'm doing it in such a way that he if he tries to get at them he's probably gonna have to get an attack of opportunity for me because i have the bayonet affixed to my gun now i can do melee True. attacks but yeah, yeah. i have a long sword as a bayonet sure <laughs> Very funny. I mean, I, you're a mask. You're big as fuck. Uh, go both of those against EAC. Twenty-four, no. Twenty-nine, yes. All right. Uh, and he is certainly past oh, bloody with thirty-two what, damage. 
Would 25 do it? Because Scorpio is in melee with him. It gets the plus one. Uh, 25 is their EAC, yeah. So that's 64 damage, then. Damn. Hefty. <laughs> Two massive bursts of plasma slam into this guy. I see, like, bits of armor, like, dripping and melting off of him. Yeah, I just imagine it's like as he bites into me, I just quickly just sort of like move him around into your line of fire. Oh, that's so dope. Yeah, just like fucking pull the shirt forward right into the beam, right into the plasma bolt. Woof. That's my turn. All right. That was SP. good. That was very solid. That plus one was very clutch right. right there. On the one on the left. 24 does not hit Unfortunately, me. yeah, that is exactly one lower. <laughs> um, so. Refine that. All right. Fine, we'll also shoot the one on the left again. Does not hit. Nope. Uh, James? Uh. Are you gonna be a nice cat this time? Okay, good. For fuck's sake. Holy shit. Jeez. You have rolled so... I am so sorry. There you That'll go. That'll hit, though. Uh, is that on this guy? Yeah, the, the one that had already been um, hurt. You see James like try to go for the stealthy shot. Just fucking give up on the stealth after it fails. But a clean uh, hole just, as it says, bored right through the center of the ghoul shock uh, assassin's head. That one goes down. Had 34 health left before that. New rifle paying, already paying off. That was a terrible ro damage roll as well. Yeah, it was. Oof, yeah, two ones in there. Uh, Scorpio, got one dude left. All right. Here, I'll go ahead and oop, take a step here. Then I'll go ahead and slash at him with my sword. Keep in uh, melee so you guys can get the range bonus. Nice. Um, All right, 24, 14. Not going to be quite enough with the kinetic. That's all right. It's all for me. All right. Um, in that case, it is going to be the trooper. Uh, or the assassin, excuse me. Uh, gonna do a full attack on you. Uh, it's gonna be bite, claw, claw. Okay, that's much better this time. This might be way worse. Okay. Um, 34. That'll hit. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be 34, 32, so that's a miss. 34. Alright, 234, so Okay, hit. so it's going to be the bite and a claw that's going to get through. Damage-wise, those are the same. Um, but they're going to have multiple effects. Okay, so the bite is going to be 35 piercing damage. And give me two fortitude saves. Alright. Um... Ooh. You do not contract ghoul fever, but you are currently paralyzed. All right. Um, for where'd my dice go for this? Uh, paralyzed for three or sorry, four rounds, plus one. All right. God. Um, and then ghouls are bad news. Second one's gonna be thirty-three more damage. Is Paralyze Autocrit in this? Um, no. I do not believe so. so. I was literally just trying to check that, but I don't think it is in this version. It doesn't autocrit, but it does mean that he is much more easily able to deliver a coup de gras. Because he is effectively helpless. So. Yeah. He also his dex modifier is set to minus five. You cannot take move. But, or you cannot move, but you can take mental actions. So you can still think. Um, and then let's see. Oh, you aren't helpless, though you are treated as having a dex of minus five. So not technically helpless. So I don't think. Oh, you okay. Can so. Off. Okay, that's that was okay because that was old Pathfinder. Paralyzed usually meant you were immediately. Yeah. It hold. Set yeah, it you hold, hold. Yeah, hold person, and then the whoever your favorite melee person just decapitates them. Uh. 
Uh, okay. Uh, that is his full round. His full round there. So Shaw, you see Scorpio right. uh, freeze up as the ghoul like kind of releases him with the teeth. He's like little drips of black saliva mixed with blood. Shaw sees that eyes narrow. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna make my full attack and then five foot step into his threat range. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay. Uh, 29, the, I know the first one misses, so another 32 on the second one. 29 for 32 damage. Yep, that does hit. Uh, so then I'll five foot, yep, five foot step into his threat range then. All right, uh, you get closer, you're kind of still wielding this big ass gun with the sword mounted on it, uh, keeping the ghoul off James and Refine. It's going to go over to SB. That'll work. 26 hit EAC. All right, Refine hits. Yeah, a little bit or of SB damage hits. there. Uh, going over to Fine as the ghoul kind of like staggers from the surprise burst of sonic energy from the ceiling. There we go. If that hits probably AAC. Uh, yeah, that'll hit AAC. Alright. So it's going to be 23. Splash of black ghoul blood hit the floor as you punch through its shoulder. And James. Oh, I, I thought that it killed it. Uh. All right. We don't notice like anyone else creeping around. It was just these two random ass. It looks like cool. these guys lucked out on like being ones that recognized you as bounties. The other people don't seem to recognize it yet. And these guys are keeping it pretty close to the chest to not risk a free for all they don't... here. If they uh, they wanted the bounty off for themselves. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, they've had uh, better luck splitting it by teaming with other people, probably. But they didn't. They didn't. Say. Oh my god. It's been a wow. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, all right. Okay. Not the. Absolutely would have been a kill though if that was a crit with sneak attack as well. Um, seventy nine. <laughs> Jesus. He is corroded. Blowing past uh, Bloody there. I'm just going to use the bleeding symbol for now. Or do I have a corrosion one? Does corrode happen on their turn? Uh, it does happen on their turn. I thought I had a corrode symbol, but I guess that one is not here. Okay, I'll just use the bleeding one for now, so I remember. And he's bleeding, corroding for... Did it roll it? No, go ahead and roll. Oh my god! Near max! Just see how nice. acid begins to eat away and like green zigzags out from the fucking impact zone. Jeez. Brutal. Brutal roll on that corrode. Uh, Scorpio is paralyzed. So tick yourself down to three turns. This guy is going to immediately take 16 more. Um, I'll hold on. on. I gotta check if corrode... <laughs> I want to see if he uses a healing item. Does that fix it? Because he might just do that. Does it happen at the start or the end of his turn? It happens at the start. So no matter what, he's already taken 16. Oh. Uh, oh, so it just functions as burning. Okay. So it functions as burning. I think he can take an action to do that. Oh. In case you were wondering, that's what it would have added on. That would have killed him. It's sniped. Yeah. 100%. Even with the four ones. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. So, he doesn't have to take an action, but at the end of his turn, he has to make a reflex save to overcome it. It's TC10 plus the amount you took from the burning condition, which in this case is the corrode condition. Oh, jeez. So, DC26. God damn. Okay, well, first of all, if he's still up, then he is going to full attack you, Shaw. Because he can make the reflex save yep. and free at the end. Yep. Oh, this is going to be a lot. I'm so sorry. Um, that's going to be a crit. On the bite? Uh, on the bite. All right, that's going to sting. Uh, then it's going to be 36 and 35. All of them hit. 
Okay, here we go. Alright, so it's gonna be the bite. Uh, is gonna be 60 damage. Piercing. My, reduced to 58 with my DR. Um, and then give me two fort saves on that. Pass both. So no paralyzed, no ghoul, uh, fever. And only the bite can do fever. Next, the first claw is going to do 28. And I need a fortitude save on that paralysis check. Still good. Getting closer to a failure, though. And then another 30 um, with one more check. All right. That one fa pass or fails? Fail. Um. Definitely a fail. Mm. Just gonna hit him on one of them. Um. I'm gonna burn my reroll. Okay. Because getting paralyzed by ghouls is how you lose a party. Yeah, I mean, if he gets away and fucking paralyzes those people. Because here's the thing. He has the other ability. If you fail this, he will be able to move up to half his speed over here and already be in melee range. There we go. Okay. That was the right call. Because he would have... Let's see. Five. Yeah, he could have easily just moved right here and been ready for another full attack. All right. So um, I take 116 damage, and I am in hit points after that. But only I only lose a single hit point. Jesus. Wait, do you have an, ener do you have an energy shield? I took it off. Okay. I've, I've, I've thought about getting the new ones because I see we have the white one there, but it takes the problem is it takes a standard action and it doesn't stay Activated. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it, the action economy is poor, so I, I I'll, I'd rather They're really take, especially now good only if you like no combat's about to start. Um, yeah, yeah. But you avoided the paralysis with that reroll, so it is going to be your turn. Oh, sorry. Let me see if he even makes this reflex save. Uh, no, still corroding. All right. Shaw's like, Ooh, okay, that I don't. And I could definitely tell this guy has a much higher resistance to kinetic, right? Uh, his KAC is for sure higher than you. All right, then I drop the uh, then I will drop the plasma gun, move action, grab the storm Doshko, and take a big old swing. Twenty six damage. Twenty six. All right, he's barely holding on by like a shred of health. Uh, SB. The gun oh. just like, <laughs> just like <laughs> makes like no noise. <laughs> We're fine. No. <laughs> no. James. <laughs> That time I, I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make him flat-footed for this one. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't have a reroll. I'll tell you right now, it's not gonna matter with that axe swing. He'll corrode to death right now, but I can't believe that's the stealth check you passed into an out one. Um, that's just the dice. That's just the dice being cruel. You see tonight. the ghoul let out like a strained gargle as the acid just eats through its chest completely uh, and collapses. Good Ooh. lord! All right, hold on. Let's do some quick XP. I did. Oh, and did we get X? Also, did we get XP for ne the negotiations with Edge Corp? I don't think there's a story award for that. I will double check though. Okay. Okay. Because no usually it lists if there's an extra story award. Uh, let me scroll back. Uh, side jobs, concluding adventure. This is from book five. Uh, no, there wasn't a story word. Okay. Uh, XP for okay, okay. the ghoul bounty hunters. I did modify them, but they are equivalent CR, so... Uh, 6,400 XP each. Child, yes, 
I feel like still have lots of health left, but definitely one of those fights where like if the par if the paralysis happens, it's real bad. Yeah, that's the thing. I was like, I saw that one. I was like, mm, I know how this goes with ghouls. <laughs> also, I need everyone um, to know that despite this fucking hysterical art of Brick Anderslug, he is so minor of a character that he literally doesn't have written dialogue that the AP tells you. That's it's just this just this dude. Just this dude just this who owns dude. an asteroid restaurant. Our current XP total is 116,975. That is one thing I'm going to miss in Starfinder 2E, because presumably it's going to be like Pathfinder 2E, where you just get 1,000 XP for each level. And then it resets. Because I like, I like seeing the insane number. <laughs> It's the like the the arcade game mentality. We like big number go higher. Exactly. Next Although level is at one hundred and forty five thousand. I do get the ease of each level from like it's a thousand. Yes. So I'll say as uh, Scorpio uh, shrugs off the other uh, paralysis, so he'll just sort of go behind the bar, just grab a bottle, look at the pirates, and just say a uh, yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> Give me a. Give me a diplomacy check. I'm going to say at the plus five. All right. Nat one may beat you to death. So 18. You see this just like hulking uh, android. Like, however, this artificial body was created for this android, they built him to just be like seven and a half feet tall and ripped with like the colored circuitry on the skin. Just look down at you angrily <laughs> and then pick up the bottle and be like, let's all drink. And everyone's like, yeah, and starts cheering really loudly. <laughs> uh, you Shall see Brick kind of shaking his head with like a smile on his face. He like gestures toward these like two robots that he has built for seemingly just such a purpose that just come over and like one of them starts dragging bodies out the back door. The other one has like a built-in mop in one of its arms. Mind if I have a look at the gear real quick? Brick's like, hey, you killed them, you look at the gear, it's fine. Alrighty. Um, and well, my, my music is that a little too loud on my end. Artillery laser might be of interest to somebody here. Artillery lasers are pretty spicy. Depends on the level, we'll see. 20 does not like when I try to reload uh, NPC sheets for some reason right now. Okay, there we go, there we go. Alright. Okay, so. Um. Good lord, let me fucking edit this man. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's just taking forever for it to load. Uh, well, I know for a fact they have two Mark IV frag grenades each that they did not use. Ooh, those are nice. So, four Mark IV frag grenades. I'll do a... At the end of the night, I'll do a list of all the loot and put it in the loot chat. Gotcha. Um, okay, here we go, here we go. Now it's letting me fucking copy and paste, finally. Alright, all of this stuff times two. So, they got Golem Forge plating. Um... Sorry, one of them had... That's not times two. One of them had the artillery laser, and one of them had the tactical auto beam rifle. Cool. Don't know if we'll need them, but good. Nice to have them. Yeah, true. All right. And I'll know. Um, you strip them of some of that gear. Uh, as drinks start getting passed around. Any credit shits on them? Uh, no, not on them. Darn. Hungry for that payday. Um, I mean, that's why they went to the restaurant. Um, is there anything you want to ask Brick Anderslug about his mission? Hmm. He said the cargo had to be temperature controlled, but no idea what's in it, which that went well last time. Um, well, he said, like, you can either accept the cargo, which is, like, not going to pay as much, or just be her bodyguards for a bit. Oh, I, I'd rather do the, the day bodyguard job for the, for the extra yeah. payout. That one's oh, definitely, yeah, definitely, it's basically, 
14,000 each or like 8,500 each? Oh yeah, 14 grand each. Please and thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I know it's gonna be tougher, but I'll take that. Is that the same day as this or is that on a different day? No, 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 that's in a couple days. It, it's basically uh, the way the days are gonna line up. It's like the day before Fireheart will be on Triaxis. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Uh, that works. Right. Case, do you? Yeah, I guess. Do you have any other questions for him? If not, I feel like that's a good pausing place. And then next, session, I don't have anything. Start on the map. Uh, I have a different. Uh, this one will have numbers on it because it's not one of the separate maps that the thing provides, but it is a map of her penthouse. Okay. Back in a dragon's penthouse. Here we are again. Four books. I was going to say, I, I think Refine is not excited to be back in a dragon's penthouse. It did not go well last time. Is that book? I think that was book two. No, it might have been book three at that point. Yeah. Books, it was the end of book three, I think. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. It's no, it was. What was the water one? I think it was book three. Let me see. Let me open book I, three. I really... SP died. It was book three. I only survived term. by locking the doors. <laughs> the, you locking the doors turned that fight. I mean, it was a, it was a good play. It was a good play. Just don't try to just don't try to fuck this dragon this time. All right, I am pretty sure I should be back and fine for next week. I'm gonna be in California this weekend in the beginning of next week. Um, but we should be good for next Thursday. Cool. All right, sounds good. I will be at work, but I'm going to look at getting a new computer, a new laptop tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we can adjust the cool. time if need be. Just let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It, I should it be able be to be the, uh, the later time. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty flexible with it on Thursdays. Um, all mm -hmm. right. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching. Well, should be back next week. Sounds good.